Boo. There we go. Good evening. <laughs> uh, it is uh, Sunday, April 12th, 11, 11 p.m. My name is Takara Sveko. They were playing some Dungeons and Dragons. We are playing with um, uh, Flip and Mortimer Nova. Uh, he is wrapping up some Pokemon battle, and then we'll get right on that. Uh, in the meantime, I am making sure my stuff is working because I reloaded my machine the other day. Um, interesting. Interesting. Mm -hmm. My wife was supposed to be changing the password for like DoorDash earlier. It looks like she changed the password to my Google account. Well, that's going to be a big pain in the butt now because I have like a ton of things on there. Hello. <laughs> All right. So we are using roll something or other. How come I don't see it in my list? Of my extensions and see if I need to enable it. Extensions. Hey, oh, look at this guy all smiles up here. He's all smiley. Isn't that like this thing is so Ooh. amazing? I don't know. Mouth. Oh, open. he's got those. He's got those bedroom eyes. When you went to negative two, happy. Oh, <laughs> oh, you should go into mouth open. Um, instead of using the slider, click in the box and type in like four. I forget. Was there was roll. What, uh, roll and then roll. click somewhere else. Uh, beyond, <laughs> beyond 20 was the only <laughs> extension we needed, correct? Yeah. Yeah, and then you'll open your character sheet in D and D Beyond, and you'll yeah. open the uh, roll I had 20. To uh, reload my computer the other day, so I'm trying to get it all set back up. Oh, right. Arcadius. Um, <laughs> I I don't know. It's horrifying though. Arcadius, um, make sure you do yes. this on Steam. Oh shit! You're already there. Never mind. I didn't. I didn't even. I didn't even hear you come in. I gotta add you as a friend. There we go. But the question is, do I want to accept? You better. I would hope so. You better, or else, or else. This is just horrifying. Uh, you should reset it and then put yourself to Asian. I'm already Asian. <laughs> You can just push the reset button at the bottom, yeah. You found looks it. Looks just like you. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see just how Asian I can be. I'm so Asian, my face is erased. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. That's, you've gone too Asian. Just... <laughs> 
I feel I feel like this is incredibly <laughs> racist. <laughs> so it's fine. Just, just see what happens if you make yourself maximum white. Let's just go ahead. And, uh... All right. <laughs> Alright. Eh? How did you find that shit that fast? Oh, let's get this trade going. You guys on roll twenty yet? No. Working on it. I had to see which account I was had it used for. Roll twenty I'm on. I like the other thing I'm on yet. He answered his own question just to sass you. He's like, You guys on yet? Mm, no. <laughs> Fucking idiots. <laughs> A bunch of what? poop faces. <laughs> All right, let's see. Zero. Two, two, two. I guess so, man. Jesus, you got friends in pokey places. Okay, there we go. A famous song. All right. Whoa. What did I done did? Uh, I don't know what you did. What is that? You tell me what that was. Uh, I, I, you said zero two two two. I just sent you a thing. You might want to send it to me again. I mine might be doing that same thing it was doing before. I don't know what the deal is. Let me cancel my link trade. Oh, you've already got it up. Zero two two two. I don't know what the hell's going on with my Pokemon is a confusing game. It is. There are a lot of moves and things. Remember the good old days when you had out of a link cable and then someone would oh pull it and steal your Pokemon? Exactly. You just connect your game voice together. There we go. At least if they like give you a bunk trade, you can punch them if there's a trade like a a link cable. <laughs> hey, this this Charizard you gave me has like zero and everything. Why did you teach this Charizard nothing but but defend? I almost got suspended at elementary school because someone pulled a link cable in a trade and I beat the shit out of him. I like it. I ain't about that life. <laughs> it doesn't list my camera anywhere in here. Uh, are you already using it on your stream? Never mind, I had to. Uh, I don't have that. I can use my camera multiple times. I had to do the allow for Chrome. Ah, fancy. Oh, yeah, I should probably open up my Logitech capture. I'll, I will be right back. Oh, right. You better be. Chaos all like you better be, and he was like, "I'm gonna leave now. I'm scared of Mort. He is aggressive. He likes to fist fight." <laughs> Beat people up over Pokemon. I see no problem here. I see. It's no not a problem. game. It's not just a game. It's, it's not anymore. It's that life, son. <laughs> you gotta be about that life. Can't that be a master life. Okay. Can't be a master if you're pussyfooting it. That's right. Camera not available. Oh. That is because I am using it in OBS. Maybe Shit. In this stock uh, OBS for now. Maybe I don't want to. Well. You ever think about that? <laughs> okay. Where'd I go? Where'd I go? I'm so scared right now. <sighs> okay. Wait, do I have to actually... Oh, wait. Hold on. I know what I can do. I know what I can do. Let's do this the simple and smart way. Logic capture. Boom. Problem solved. Let's do that. Oh, it reverse me. That's fine. A little, one, one little reverse Z, <laughs> and dark magic. <laughs> there we go. 
Now we're cooking with Jesus. So, uh, are we playing on D and B Beyond? Oh, there it is. You can't bag me. Twice? Did I need the roll twenty side up? I can't even remember. Isn't it roll twenty dot com? No, it's not. What the hell's the name of the site? It's app dot roll twenty dot net. Dot net. Net. Alderheart, by the way, I know there's a lot going on right now, but thank you. Uh, thank you again for the trades, man, for real. Um, Sundays, as of like last week, Sundays, we've been uh, decided we're going to dedicate to doing these like one off campaigns with D&D because the yesterday, or yesterday, I'm sorry, oh, I know, I know. last Saturday was my very first, as well as Dakaris's very first uh, uh, dive into playing D&D. So, uh, Flip is an excellent DM. <clears throat> I had so much fun with it. We decided that we were going to start making it kind of a thing. So Sunday nights, uh, late nights, we're going to with the D and D. Oh, I promise you, there are. I can assure you, uh, because now that I know the quality of Pokemans that you can get, good lord, I kind of want to place the whole goddamn team. You're saying you should you should totally use a vile plume. A vile plume? Yeah. You're in timeout. Vile plumes are the best, though. You're in a timeout. Actually, I've never, uh, I've not used a vile plume. Have they said, um, have they said what the, the next 200 are going to be yet? Or is that still all in the hush hush? I'm actually not sure. I haven't really looked into it because I didn't want to get spoiled. <laughs> Fair enough. Fair enough. I don't trust the internet enough. <laughs> what? The internet is full of nothing but facts and truths and uh, evidently fake news. Haven't you heard that song, though? The internet is for porn. That's pretty yeah, sure that's what the internet's for. Click. That is also true. It's also very true. Lots and lots. Uh, ba -ba -ba. Wait, oh, there we are. There we are. Dakaris, done it. Your, your face disappeared. I You've see it. it. I see Dakaris' huh. face. Right, oh, you do? The... Let me reset. I don't see your face anymore. Yeah, that's because I'm resetting. No, I like it better that way. <laughs> oh, okay. I'll turn, I'll turn it off yeah. then. Yeah, oh, I don't see dang. So I don't <laughs> <laughs> I went there. Ooh. Whoop, baby! Actually, Martin, I can't see yours. Stack the... What did you call me? Call him Martin. Let me refresh that. Let me refresh that. Not Marty. Can you, guys, <laughs> can you guys see Mort's face? Yeah, I can see everybody now. Right, let me refresh mine, then. Oh. Now, do I need... I still need to be on 20 up, right? Uh, D and D or Beyond, I mean, yeah. D and D Beyond. I mean, I need to because that's where I roll from, right? That is where you roll from. Yep. Uh, gonna do a test. There, I need another monitor. That's why I've got four. Yeah, well, give me one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, we'll Just shove it show. straight through the headset. <laughs> Catch. It'll be um, great. I am. Uh, I'm going to be back doing Pokemon again tomorrow night because um, we're going to run D and D for the rest of the night. I'm going to be back doing um, Pokemon tomorrow night. Uh, right around, I start around ten Eastern uh, usually. I mean, it's just early tonight, uh, and I'm sure I'm sure I'll have more Pokey requests. Because hell yeah, man, you saved me a bunch of time tonight. I really appreciate it. All right, are you guys ready? You guys ready? Almost. Almost. He's got to get his uh, beach scene behind him or something. It's the f actually I would do that, but the uh, uh, <laughs> webcam stuff refreshes too slow. Do this thing ends up looking really weird. <gasps> oh. 
up, 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 up. All right, I think I am ready on my end. You know, until like, I'm distracted again. I think I am as well. I will be about 30 seconds left. 30 seconds? That's almost 40 seconds. 40 seconds? <laughs> but not quite 29. Jeez. All right, I'm ready. Oh, man, I, I forgot the Nicolas Cage. Does this work? Is that playing for you guys? Yep. Oh, I'm here. It is. That's cool. All right. Uh, recap from last time. You guys did training in a temple that was very high quality and then immediately moved to a tavern that was less high quality. <laughs> and then here... Wait. What the shit? How is this here? Because this is a flashback. Oh, okay. Of, of oh, what happened weird. last time on Dragon Ball Z. Last. <laughs> to ghosts. <laughs> Did my power ever actually reach 9,000? Because I'm pretty sure it did. Oh, no. It definitely did not. Remember, you got dropped like twice or something. Yeah, 9,000. Exactly. <laughs> All right. So you guys came here and you talked to a fellow... Uh, Mr. Rockseeker, who hired you on a quest to go and help deliver some provisions to a town uh, that's kind of having a boom. Um, you guys all accepted for some reason. You guys headed out and you went here where you found a whole bunch of uh, dead people and the provisions were stolen by goblins, which you guys then chased after. And then we left off here, where you had gone through the entire goblin cave, killed pretty much all the goblins, but you didn't go into this room where, you know, certain things would have happened, and you guys also just ditched the provisions and left after doing all the hard work. <laughs> yeah. Oh, oh, and and you uh, and you you left Flynn to uh, disappear. So. No. You told him, you go that way, I'll go home, and then you ran him, away. You go that way, I'll go home, and yeah, then you ran him. away. All right. Cool. So what are you going to do now? The unsung hero. Well, I'm pretty sure that our last action was leaving him, running away, and go, I'm pretty sure we said go back to the tavern and try and find more work. Okay, so the tavern is like two days away. Well, so you guys shit, are... I'm just walking right, back is, to the city, then. Is Flynn dead yet? Have we heard I mean, screams? You guys just booked it, so you have no idea. Anyone else hearing feedback? Uh, yeah. Yeah, I'm getting an echo. Who is... It's Alcadius. Me? Am I not muted? No. Uh, you... Mm. I have feedback coming. When I talk, it's also coming from your mic. Oh, okay. That. Yep, you're muted now. You got it. Jam on the one. All Just right, remember so... to unmute yourself when you want to talk. <laughs> Wait a second. Why is Flynn with us? Flynn's not with you. He's on my screen. I'm sorry. I forgot to move over the little tab. There you go. All right. Flynn's Good. not with you. Never again. <laughs> All right. So what? What's the plan, Mort? You seem to be the one who's calling the shots. Oh, that's me. Shot caller, shorter. All right. So my wolves are still in the woods, right? Uh, yeah. Those wolves are gone. They've already run away. All right. So yeah, screw it. Let's just get. Let's go ahead. I say we go back to town. I say we go back to town. We try to find more work. From maybe somebody who's not a scumbag. A scumbag. <laughs> Listen, I'm okay. just saying, I got a bad vibe off that guy. All right. Uh, Dakaris and Mort, go ahead and give me a survival check. Why is my shit so small? Thank you. 
Okay. Trying to find it. I forget Wait. where it's at. It's in the big list of skills. It's in alphabetical order. Uh huh. Uh huh. Yeah, it's like your middle. Your middle. There we go. All right. So you guys don't exactly remember the way back. Um, <laughs> ex exactly. You, you, you kind of. Drums. You would, yeah, those the wolves got them on the way out. <laughs> I knew it. I knew it. So you guys are are uh, you guys are heading in generally the right direction. You're pretty sure, but you don't know. Like you're not taking the exact same path that you did on the way here. Um, the goblin cave was kind of off the beaten trail. Um, you're hoping to find that uh, crossroads again, but it's been probably two or three hours walking, and you haven't found it yet. Uh, but you do stumble across dun, 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 a uh, another West traveler. Oh. Well, we're just we're going to use uh, this little section down here. Uh, yeah, there you go. <laughs> There's Mona, <laughs> and you meet a fellow traveler. That's Mona lot. I love it. <laughs> so that's wait, Alcadius. That's the way you pictured her. I love it. I honestly <laughs> just found like a random picture and that looked okay. <laughs> no, no, she's perfect. She's perfect. She's an angel. All right, so we found a weary traveler. So what's her story? Um, I don't know. You got to ask. Wait, Dekars, what's your uh, what's your charisma at? Uh, it is at plus two. No, what's the number below that? I don't have anything below charisma. You should have charisma plus two and then another number below it, like a bigger number. Or like, a, the top. like a like a fourteen. Oh, okay. But I was looking at a different spot. Uh yeah, fourteen. So all right, we have the same charisma. Why don't you why don't you take the lead <laughs> here, because you're uh you're a lot more uh, dashing than I am, so why don't you take lead on this one and see if we can't woo Mona into a into our uh, into our circle. I am so the wrong person to ask Alderaan. I'm so the wrong person to ask. I'm still learning. I'm kind of learning as we go. Alderaan was asking how D and D works. Oh, it's, it's uh, you just roll dice and you see what happens. Bigger numbers are I mean, better usually. <laughs> that's the that's the the long and short of it. No, that's the short and short of it. All right, Dakaris. I see you talking, Alcadius, but I don't hear you. Not at all. There you now go. I now I hear you. Uh, I guess I forgot to push the button. There you go. So, are you guys going to like introduce yourself? That's what I'm saying, Decorus. You get out there. You're already ahead of me anyway. I'm just the I'm the brawn and the handsome, but you're the charisma. Get out okay. there and bring Mona. Bring Mona in. <laughs> so, what am I doing? Just walking out there? I mean, you yeah, you're talking to to this person here. Hey, baby. <laughs> Hello, who's your tall, dark, and handsome friend in the back? <laughs> it's Terry Crews. You don't recognize me from my movies? The shit. I haven't watched any movies since <laughs> last week. Mm. Uh, we could make a new movie, Mona. Girl. I mean, you pay me chips? enough. Who is your daddy and what does he do? <clears throat> my father my father's dead, so I guess nothing. No, he sleeps. Classic Batman story. <laughs> he sleeps. All right, so we need to roll something to bring Mona in or No, I mean Imagine. it's another player, so I mean Listen, okay, so if you out. Listen, do you like money? Sure. We all do. So <laughs> We just got drunk. 
we killed our last healer uh, by sending him into a dungeon where we don't know if he's still alive, but it doesn't matter. Have you ever liked anybody in your entire life named Flynn? No, you haven't. We kill Flynn. <laughs> and if you believe we, in that sort of thing, we kill Flynn. He's like Kenny. Then you belong. That's that's with that's us. possibly the worst pitch I've ever heard to get an adventurer on their team. Like, hey, uh, we killed our last healer. Do you want to be our healer? Like, <laughs> listen, here's the thing. <laughs> I have cocaine that I can promise you on the daily. I can guarantee it. I get it flown in. Colombian direct. I'm just saying. What is Colombia? Yeah, you might die. Colombia, it's outside of Mordor. It's like <laughs> just south of Mordor. So, I yeah, mean, you might die. We all might die. Uh, listen, come get some money with us. Let's get fucked up and make bad decisions and do stuff. I mean, I'm already a horror. Might as well do other bad decisions. I'm glad that's the decision that you decided as you created this character when you said, you know, when I make a character, she's going to be a whore. I like it. I'm on board with this. This is rock solid. I need a beer. I'll be right back. Uh, but listen, you just think about what we've said. Dakaris is going to go ahead and he's going to seal the deal. Do not make this like the timeshare issue, Dakaris. Get this done. <laughs> well, that was my whole pitch. Now what am I supposed to come up with? ABCs. Always be closing. Clinch that shit. <laughs> Hopefully something a little bit better than we killed our last healer. <laughs> <laughs> well, our last healer was like Kenny, so don't be like Kenny. We have a... Who's Kenny? Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> have a substantial benefits package. Don't know what's in it. But I've been told it's substantial. It's got a sticker on it that the says, one do not open. <laughs> I guess I'll be the one providing the free health care. <laughs> Your name's Mona, more like Medicare. <laughs> Mm -hmm. See, I'll, uh, I'll be back on uh, tomorrow. It's at around 10, so I'll be back. We'll uh, be fucking around tomorrow, too. All right. Well, as you guys are, are talking, uh, some storm clouds are rolling in. It looks like it's probably going to rain soon. Listen, girl, I got an umbrella. I have a, uh, <laughs> not just any umbrella, I have a 12 inch umbrella. So maybe we should just run up into this house uh, here real quick and just take some shelter. Uh, Decoros will be there, too. It's you know whatever. whatever. That's what I apologize. That seems good it's, enough to me. I mean, that's a solid. Uh, let's just uh, let's just head on up this way. Oh, hello, old lady. Why, hello there. <laughs> Looks like it's about to be a downpour. Would you guys like to come in for some tea? You look like a uh, a trustworthy <laughs> bunch. <laughs> Oh, lady, that would be splendid. All right. I mean, it beats getting soaked. I mean, just trust my judgment. Listen, I'm a, I'm a great judge of people. Well, come on in. And her house is not made of candy. This should be okay. Quick question. Mm -hmm. Have you seen my wolves anywhere? <laughs> I'm afraid I, I don't get wolves. out much past these uh, uh, past this area here. Where where did you say your, your wolves were? Remember, there's uh, like two or three hours away from where you released they, the wolves. I mean, they were it's only been so two to three hours. It's kind of like it's been loose. a week. <laughs> Maybe even eight days. Man, time goes slow yeah. here. Don't even worry about it, lady. Thank you, though. You might sit on your table. Uh, please do not sit on the table. Oh. There's there's chairs there, not pictured. Uh, she she pulls out a, a fresh batch of cookies and uh, gives you a, like puts the plate in front of all of you. Um, she pours you each a cup of tea and says, uh, "Hey, are you guys uh, adventurers?" 
by any chance? I mean, you don't see normal folk running around with those clothes, but I hate to presume. Uh, oh, yes, actually, I, I, I kind of do. You see, my my main thing here is I I, uh, I kind of tend these apricot orchards down a little ways to the south, and uh, some some hooligans have been stealing my, my fruit. And if I don't get enough fruit for, you know, for the winter, I'm, I'm kind of screwed. <laughs> I, I need to know more about, what do you mean hooligans? Are you sure, have you seen people actually taking your fruit? Yeah, there's a, there's a, uh, there's a man, uh, his, oh, I, oh, the, the, the Alzheimer's gets to me sometimes, but, uh, <laughs> <laughs> I just, I just call him young lad. I, 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 he's a, he's a white fellow about yay high. But it's actually, it's says, a human being. You're saying it's yes. a person. Here's the reason I ask lady. Uh, I'm like, what, 6'8", I'm pretty sure is what I made myself, like 6'8", 299 pounds. Um, listen, I can take down any man, literally any man. You put any man in front of me, boom, to the ground. Well, he, but if you're he does have some monsters, friends with him. Okay, see, that's, see... Uh, uh, also human. Yeah, no, I said a group human. of hooligans. Mm. Not a single Trust hooligan. Me, when <laughs> Trust me, when he's around men, they all go down. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> that is a fact. <laughs> How long have you known each other? <laughs> long enough, I baby. Mean, we shared I an mean, umbrella after, if you catch my drift. After the sales pitch he, they gave me, he, I'm pretty convinced. <laughs> Something about a timeshare. It was kind of weird. There was yeah, never a little place called Florida. Yeah, benefits package. <laughs> All right, Florida. So, what is the reward for said adventure? Well, I mean, I can bake you a fresh batch of cookies. Um, I do also have some, like, a family heirloom that uh, might be useful to you. What is it? Uh, I don't know. It's some magic thingamajig. I don't really understand magic, but it's been passed down in my household for years and years. It's a uh, I'm gonna have very... to consult with. I'm gonna have to consult with the crew. I, I, okay. I don't need to be rude, but I do need. Look, we're a team. All right, we're like what we like to call the A team. Um, and if I don't consult the team before I make these sort of decisions, we're not a team anymore, are we? That's understandable. Isn't that right? Boys, I'll leave for a moment and... while you talk it over. I mean, she did give us cookies. Yeah, I mean, but I did you? There was so much flour. I mean, and not nearly enough sugar. Like, I don't know if she can read a recipe. Are we sure that this heirloom is actually magical? What if it's just cursed, and she just thinks it's magical because she can't read the instructions on it? Should we? Maybe we should ask to see this heirloom first. Is what I'll, is what I'm thinking. We need to authenticate its authenticity. That's what I'm thinking. That is what I'm thinking. Is anybody uh, skilled? At evaluating jewelry. Well, we don't know if it's jewelry. It's an heirloom. It's an heirloom. What if she's like, what if the heirloom's like a gauntlet or an axe or, or a spoiled like apple? Garden gnome. Maybe we should ask to see it. Are you made up your mind? <laughs> Can we Listen, see this heirloom first? If you don't oh, mind. of course, of course. Perfect. She heads into her room and she comes back. She's like, "Here, I'll, I'll even give you a demonstration. I don't really know what it's used for, but it's it's quite neat. Uh, you fella, you look like the strongest there." And he point she points to uh, Mort, and she's like, "Let's have a little uh, a little tug of war here." And she brings out this like three foot long stick. Oh boy! And it, was and it just lo just looks just looks like a regular stick. Mona, this She's... is your department, I think. <laughs> and she she hands you one end of the stick, and she's holding on to the other end of the stick, and she's like, "Okay, mm. let's let's have a tug of war." <laughs> <laughs> I've seen this movie. <laughs> go ahead and uh, Mort. I think, I think I need to go change my channel what content happened? back to mature. Mort. Roll me, roll me, roll me a strength check. We're having a tug of war. <laughs> Just wait until she takes out her teeth. 
<laughs> oh my god! Uh, it it doesn't move. Like she she's obviously holding on to it. She doesn't even look like she's particularly putting too much effort into it. And you're pulling pretty much as hard as you can. It's it this is not 19. moving. Or no, yeah, 17. well, that was a seventeen. It it does not move. That's a strong stick. Yeah, she's like, go ahead, keep trying. Let's go ahead and give me another strength check. <laughs> Okay. Scared I'm gonna hurt myself. Okay, yep. As 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 you're pulling on it, she just kind of like lets go of the stick and yawns and you're pulling on it and it is not moving. It is just staying there in the middle of the air and you're not able to to move it at all. Well, listen, you guys, two I'm should pull her stick together. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna put one in. You, in you try that you you even try to lift it. You try to push it down, it doesn't move whatsoever. All right, I'm convinced. What do you guys think? Should we go and do this mission for this lady? Or should we just steal a stick and kill her? I mean... I I'm right I here, you know. You probably shouldn't say <laughs> stuff like that. <laughs> that is very rude. <laughs> I think she's on to us. <laughs> I'm gonna go call the constable. <laughs> All right, what do you think? Should we accept this mission? Yeah, uh, we're, we're we're dumb enough. All right, sure. Why not? Why? Not? All right. That's the spirit. <laughs> I like your so moxie. She, she uh, so she takes the uh, the stick and then she heads back and puts it wherever it is that. She was holding it and comes back out and she's like, well, the storm's not going to let up for another uh, another few hours. So you guys just go ahead and, and rest here and uh, I'll we'll talk through the, you know, what's going on, everything. So we're just listen, I'm gonna... sorry. Are you a chef or a meteorologist? Because I'm looking up and the clouds look like they're moving away. Yeah, very slowly. More. <laughs> You're obviously not a meteorologist. <laughs> I don't He's know any role for meteorology. Where's meteorology? There is no. I don't have. I don't have you don't, meteorology. All you right. don't. You don't got right, that one. You, you, you win, win this track. time. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So um, she explains to you everything that's going on. Basically, she's got these orchards down to the south. She needs you to go and you know stop these hooligans from messing around with it. Uh, other than that, she said that she's seen. Like four of them. Uh, one of them's a big strapping lad. One of them looks really uh, um, kind of like really tall and just kind of really dour. Uh, another one is like a lady that, that hangs out with them. So she's just giving you a kind of general description of, of what they look like. Um, she said she's seen them mostly uh, in the morning heading out there. So most likely uh, you guys would need to spend the night. Um, she doesn't want you sleeping in her cottage. Uh, after old Harold, you know, passed away, it just doesn't feel right to have more people in the home. Uh, but she offers rain. you to... Well, yeah, it's raining right now, but the rain's going to subside soon. You guys can head uh, out there early if you want and try and camp out that's there. That's what I was thinking. If we go out to the orchard, the sooner we get out there, the more likely it is that we're going to do one of two things. We're going to find these people and kick their ass, or we're going to find my wolves. And if we can do both, that would be or you're better. You're never finding those wolves again. They are gone. They've joined I'm, another wolf pack. I'm going to put signs up. They had no identifying marks on them. That would have, like... That's not true. One of them had the little white tuft on its neck, and the other one had the long gray whiskers, well, if, and if then there was the one wolves, that... find more wolves, we'll just tell them that the same ones. He'll never know. <laughs> I am going to do an intelligence check on that. Statement. On, on that also, statement. I want to wolf. Where's wolf recognition check? <laughs> All right. Not one of those. It's like when you're. So, did you guys want? She she does offer mm -hmm. you if you want. You can camp out in tent? her in her front lawn. She doesn't think it's going to be raining during the night. Cause <sighs> she's she's lived around these parts for quite a while. Excuse me, old lady. I didn't catch your name. What was your name, darling? You said Donovan, darling. As long as I don't get wet. Yeah, see, that's the that's what. Yeah. Oh man, you asked me a question I forgot about. 
So Dar- what was your uh, name, Darling Angel? Uh, my name's Darla. Darla, you don't happen to have a tent, do you? Because we're going to go out. We're not only going to go out there. We're going to go out there now. But we need somehow, like, some way to stay dry. We don't want to get wet. Um, I mean, I got an old tarp. Uh, you could, could hang it between a couple of trees or something. I think that could work. I think we could make that work. Okay. Uh, we'll get wet, and we'll be covered. We can keep an eye on things. She goes and gets you the tarp and hands it to you and goes, oh, here you go. Why are you sh- uh, She keeps leaving us alone in her kitchen. Where the fuck are you? <laughs> I mean she's she's standing there. I'm just I'm I'm fidgety, so I like moving stuff around. <laughs> <laughs> Alright guys, what do you think? Should we go ahead and go out there? We've got our tarp. Uh we've seen this the magic stick of pulling. Uh she gave us cookies that didn't have enough sugar. I I don't know. I think we're done here. Why not? Unless anybody else can think of anything before we head out. I concur. Uh, Miss Darla, are you sure that I can't sleep inside tonight? Yeah, this one's a woman. You don't have anything to be afraid of. Uh, yes, I'm. I'm. I'm quite insistent that no one be in my home at night. It, it does not make me comfortable. I'll have to go get the boomstick. <laughs> are you sure I can't persuade you? Uh, I mean, you can try. Is she a werewolf? Oh, that's a lot of persuasion. That is an amount of persuasion. Give me just a moment to roll her insight check. Uh, What is that? Wisdom? Oop. Ah, she failed. Uh, Okay, you you broke the game. What? I said Alcadia broke the game now. It's not just me. She says uh, to to Mona, she's like, "Well, darling, you can you can stay here, but the the men they they'd have to sleep outside. That that's fine. You can use the guest bedroom over here." And do do do. There you go. There's two. It's over there. there. Yeah, she, it's thank it, you. It's th- it's not that she she wants to not let you be there, but she's a little old lady by herself, and you have a six foot eight giant essentially and a devil man. <laughs> it's, it's it's Darth Cage. It's Darth yeah, Cage. Darth Cage. Nick Cage. <laughs> I'll be honest. That would if I said it was Nick Cage. I never would have noticed. Yeah, it's, yeah, that it's because it's shrank down so much. When you, if you zoom in, yeah, in you it. can you can zoom in. Um, so we try right, out for well, Darth Maul. We got to make sure that we all move as a group. I'm thinking, Pony, you stay in there. Keep an eye on things because this lady might be up to something. Uh, Dakaris, sleep at the back door. I'm gonna sleep at the front door. All right. So in case any shenanigans happen in the night. Nobody's getting out of this house without us knowing. So if this woman's up to something, we're going to know. I'm a really light sleeper. All righty. Good night, lady, if that's your real name. Okay. Uh, Night comes. It's a pretty peaceful night. It did it did stop raining like she said it would. Um, oh, Mona's dead. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. If you, I, don't know I don't know if you saw that. Like Mona had the little red X over. <laughs> Mona, I was like, oh, oh it was, she's it was dead. Peaceful. It was peaceful I'm a, until I'm Mona a died. very heavy sleeper. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's it's I a normal like night. The dead. Uh, you in the morning comes without much fanfare. Uh, let me actually look at something here. Yeah. Yep. And that's about it. So it's morning now. You guys had a long rest. You're you're, you're well prepared for the day ahead. Right. Anything else you'd like to do here before we move on? I mean. 
kind of want to say I, I, I searched the, the room for anything. Well, what idea. the room you're in? Yeah. Uh, yeah. I mean, you search the room. There's there's two. It looks like guest beds. There's a little uh, vase there. It doesn't look very valuable. It's just made of clay and a little bit of paint. Um, in the drawers, you find a Gideon's Bible or something. Probably not, but. <laughs> There's, there's not really much in there. Maybe some spare clothes or something. Ah, we'll take um, the clothes. <clears throat> you're you're going to take the clothes, you said? No, 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 I'm not. Nah, I don't need them. Yeah, they're, they're for a size a bit, a bit larger than yours. Probably belong to Harold. Is Easier to take off. Rest? What's that? Am I standing by a window? Uh, no. There's no or, yes, there's there. a window right here. Alright. I want to peek through that window. Okay. Oops, that is the wrong tool. I accidentally drew a line instead of revealing a polygon area. There you go. Is that a window over here? Uh, yep. You're just gonna kind of look at the whole thing. Sure. I just wanna, I just wanna peek through that window, see what's going on there. It looks like some sort of library. There's a very fancy rug. <clears throat> it is a fancy rug. It's like a moon rug. A couple of chairs. But only one, one person to sit in them. Yeah, it's real sad. Do you guys think that we should just? Like, peek through the keyhole and see what's going on in the room that she's in? Or should we just get a move on? Oh, you I mean, know but what if she's changing course. in there? I don't want to peek at that. All right, fair enough. I so just don't know what she's unseen. up to. Something seems... <laughs> yeah, that's true. Uh, there's something seems something seems odd here. There's, there's a building over on the side of the house. See if there, see if you can see in it anywhere. All right. <laughs> Uh, that building is locked, and there are no windows on it. Oh, dang. Well, that seems suspicious. Yeah, that seems awful suspicious. I, I mean, is it that suspicious to lock your shed? No What's that? windows? That it's not I mean, that do you suspicious have... to lock your shed. Probably yeah, different. and it's not that suspicious mode. that sheds don't have windows. It's just a place for storage. You don't want... It... Uh... Where she keeps her John Deere. I mean, she, she did... She did mention that one of the things she does with the apricots is, is she makes jam out of them. So she would need a cool, dark place. And if you have a window, that's an extra spot you have to cover up in order to, you know, keep it cool and dark. All right. I and mean, if she wants a cool, dark place, she could just use her bedroom. <laughs> it's still dark in there, too. Especially if she's it, I mean, that, that's just because you've never been in there. I'm just saying, what if we have like a Carol Beskin type situation? This woman's like got dead husbands all up in that shed on the side of her house. Maybe she fed him to your wolves. She, oh! <laughs> She's <laughs> taking <laughs> care <laughs> of your babies. <laughs> yeah, that's probably what she doesn't want me to find is my fucking wolves. All right, I, screw it. Let's just let's go on our mission. I think we're ready. I think we're good. Everybody got a good night's sleep. Everybody's all healthed up and regenerated. I think we're good. Right? Everybody ready? Should we go? Yeah. Sure. All right. All right. Time's the word. I want to tell the lady goodbye though before we go. Is she inside? Uh, knock, yep. Knock. Yes, who is it? It's Rock and Rolla. <laughs> what, what can I help you with? Can you come out, please? Yes? I just wanted to give you a hug and just let you know we're on our way. Uh, no, no touching, please. <laughs> How about a handshake? Uh, no, no, thank you. You can, you can be on your way, please. She's practicing social no. distancing. Exactly. <laughs> You're supposed to stay at least five squares thank away. You. <laughs> thank you, devil <laughs> man. <laughs> All right. Well, let's go. Wait, 
Does she have, like, a keyhole or anything in that room? Yeah, I mean, you can peek in if you want. I want to peek in. Do it. No, I was expecting more. <laughs> <Just a bed. laughs> Alright, turn your Just head a, a little bit. Turn your head a little bit to the right. <laughs> I'll say you can get this much extra, but that's probably it. These keyholes suck. I mean, they're yeah. keyholes. They're, they're meant for keys, not eyeballs. <laughs> oh, not according to old Disney movies. Should have <laughs> ate that's... more carrots. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so you guys head off Wait, are we going the right to the way? south. Hold on. Am I... <laughs> Which is down? Path? Are we going the right way? Uh, well, you're not. It's a, it's down here to the south. Sorry, you guys, know, I'm going to take a pee. The, Our path is down the, here where I'm going. The bottom. The bottom where it says Patreon.com. Where it says Patreon. Because this map's pretty sweet. I mean, you should give credit where credit's due. Look, guys, this is like Hollywood. They actually have labels on their mountainsides here. This one's labeled Patreon.com. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on, I need maps to copy created by the god oh, afternoon yeah. maps. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's go. Who's gonna sing a ditty on our on our travels here? Dakaris, you've got the sweetest voice in the group. I think you should sing us a song. That is a lie. Sing us a song that we'll all remember for our for our long walk here. <laughs> I have no voice. Perfect. All right, so you guys Road find again. it easily enough. Oh, man, uh, we were about to get one. We were about to get some willy. Uh, some willy? Yeah, Ignore we the fact that these are all different types of, of trees. You, 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 track them, you, you track them down to, to this area. It's pretty right, easy so to we, find them. They're being pretty loud and just kind of having a good time, yelling and frolicking. Yeah, I see the Terminator and Tom <laughs> And... Um, uh, that one chick from X Men <laughs> and Rasputin <laughs> and some other guy. Yeah. All right. Uh, uh, the is Leopard that the direction we're going? Queen. Oh shit! Is that them? Are those the bad guys? Um, they fit the description that the old lady gave. Yes. Guys, what's the plan? Do we rush in? Do we try a sneak attack? You can see this guy over I mean, here and this guy over here. They are like pulling up. Uh, uh, pulling off fruits and putting them in a basket. Should should we alert them? Should I just go up and ask them? Should I try and talk to them first? Maybe we could just discuss things. Before I, I would meeting. suggest a discussion. We don't know what this lady's business is. I, lo I like that idea. What do you think, Alcadius? I mean, Mona. I mean, I'm not the most stealthy person, so we might as well. Fair enough. Um, who has the most charisma amongst us? Not me. <laughs> I believe it was a tie between you and Dakaris. Okay. Um, you want me to handle this one or you want to handle it? Go for it. Okay. Good day to you and yours, kind sir. We are but weary travelers uh, looking for uh, some fruit. Uh, how are you today? Uh, things are going pretty good. It's a nice, bright, sunny day. Um, you probably want to, you probably want to talk with our, uh, our so-called leader. <laughs> uh, let me, uh, let me find his name really quick. Leader? Are you guys a gang? Uh, no, I mean, we're, we're a group of like-minded individuals. So a gang. Leader just seems like a really... It's an odd uh, terminology. I know when I hang with my <laughs> friends, we don't have a leader. We're just buddies hanging out, picking for. Hey, have you ever have you ever considered that's because you're the leader? I just talk the most because I'm Hispanic. Uh, well, he all, certainly all thinks he's the leader. Ulrich over there has, you know, he usually deals with new people. I got to get back to. Are work. you guys recruiting? Oh, okay. I'll talk to him. It's it's fine. Right. Listen, it was really nice meeting you, though. T nice, nice meeting you too, sir. Dun 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 dun. <laughs> I'm gonna stay behind <laughs> the bush. You gonna hide behind that? Are you trying to hide or? Are you trying to hide? 
Yeah, I'm just gonna hide behind the bush. Right, Can you give me a stealth check? I can certainly try. <laughs> Alright. Oh. For all of us involved. Nice. Alright. Well, oh, by the way, Alcadius, if you wanted to uh, to show like the actual dice rolling, because I, I prefer it that way because it looks cooler, but I mean, it's up to you. Uh, you can click on the gear wheel on the top right, and then there's two boxes that are enable 3D dice and automatically roll 3D dice, and checking those will make it a little bit more like yeah, and you can actually see fun. the dice roll, which is which is always it's neat. Fun. Yeah, it doesn't do anything specifically, but it's, it's neat. It does everything. <laughs> it's very important to more. Okay, I was wondering how you guys did that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. All right, so then he was or she was successful in. Okay, so Dakaris, uh, Mort is going up to talk to that guy. Are you going to do anything? Uh, back him up. You're just going to. Okay, so you're, okay, you're going to go works. right behind him. So just move your, move your character. Yeah, there you go. Okay, so what did you say to the guy? Wait, to wait, Ulrich? hold on, Dakaris, are you back there being friendly, or are you back there being intimidating? Like, what's your what's your what's your persona right now? Uh, intimidating. Intimidating. Okay. Should I go good cop? I like how you're the six foot eight guy. <laughs> he's the one intimidating. <laughs> he's well, he's wizard. intimidating because he looks like, he looks like a freaking demon. Like <laughs> <laughs> he's half human, half devil. What'd you say this guy's name was? Ulrich. 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 I used to have a boss named Ulrich. Is oh. That, uh... It's it's nice to meet you. You said your name was Terry Cruz. I mean Rock and Rolla. Rock and Rolla. That's a that's a strange name. Not sure I've heard that. That sounds like a dwarf name. Do you have dwarf ancestors? <laughs> now you're just speaking gibberish. I'm uh... fluent in fucking dwarfish. <laughs> Look at my goddamn stat sheet. Are that's you? Dwarfish. I don't I'm know. Sorry that you can't speak <laughs> fucking dwarfish. dwarfish. That sounds like gibberish. <laughs> that, that sounded like not dwarfish. Hockey I mean, dogging. I speak dwarfish. That sounded pretty racist. <laughs> I'm just saying. I did three years. Like of I'm a dwarfish. bit out of practice. Like <laughs> I did three years of dwarfish, and then you know. How, how much I dwarfish do you know? Un, un a quarter do. dwarfish. <laughs> Hagen shagen bagen. Hagen does. That's not dwarfish. <laughs> what German. brings you folks around here? Oh, the dwarves are just German. Just checking out the fruit, looking, uh, looking to get some water from this beautiful river. See where it goes off to. Maybe do some fishing. Just you know, checking the sights. Oh well, if you're a traveler, just you know, feel free to help yourself to some delicious fruit here. Um, oh man, you, you know, guys our... have a really nice like you guys. I don't know how long have you guys been growing all these trees out here. Oh, we've been out here for for several years now. Uh, I'd say it's been oh the better part of a decade. Wow, it's beautiful out here. You guys have some nice property. How long have you had the property? I mean, I don't want to be listen. I don't want to pry. If if I'm getting no, well, just stop me. I'm just curious because it's it's, it's I mean, gorgeous. I mean, this this land is not owned by any of us in particular, but we do tend the land, so we we feel the uh, the ownership over the uh, you know the pr the products of that land. But oh, we're no, we're happy to share it with with tra no, so we're not even anywhere near any major cities. This is kind of out in the boondocks. Oh, really? Well, that's interesting. Mm-hmm. I had no idea. I didn't realize this was all this was all public land. Would you guys mind if we if we helped ourselves to some of the fruit? Oh yeah, feel free. I mean, take all what right. you need. Am I close enough to hear any of this? <laughs> um, probably not. They're probably talking in a conversational tone. Okay. I'm a loud talker. Again, I'm Hispanic. Wait, where's that guy going? Oh, is he just readjusting? He's, move, he's moving around, picking some some trees. I'm just saying, picking I some got fruit. eyes everywhere. I'm watching. I got eyes everywhere. 
Well, listen, it's it's been a pleasure. I, I think I think we'll uh, I think we might take you up on your uh, offer to snag some fruit here. This is great. Um, thank you so much. Dakaris. All right. Well, uh... Dakaris. Yo. Did you catch all that? Yep. They are quite pleasant. They were super pleasant, right? I don't... I'm starting to think... I've had my suspicions about this old lady. These people were super nice, even though they looked like a Terminator. They were all super friendly, <laughs> and nobody owns this land. She did show us deeds to the land. But she's a witch. Let's go back and talk to Mona. I, I Listen, uh, we're going to go get some baskets and stuff, and uh, we're going to come back and pick up some fruit. Uh, we'll be right back, okay, Ulrich? All right, just careful of the, the goblin cave around here, so they get okay. kind of feisty oh, come I nighttime. You don't want to be caught out at night. Listen, do you, guys, do you guys need any help with the goblins? Are you okay? Are they bothering you? Oh, we, we hold our own against them. There's not too many of them. Okay. Just they tend, to, the they tend to stick to the road towards, uh, towards the east. Just figured we'd offer. Keep it friendly around here, you know what I mean? You got to help pay it forward. Jakarta's gone. All right. All right. I'm going to dive into the bushes without being detected. He's, he's watching you go. Like, you're just going to dive into the bushes. <laughs> you think that I'm super stealthy for being as tall as I am. All right. Uh, what kind of armor are you wearing? Chainmail. Chainmail. Okay. Give me a super stealth. quiet. Chain. <laughs> Give me a stealth check minus five. <laughs> <laughs> stealth check minus five. Here we go. Imagine just like that scene from Emperor's New Groove of Kronk <laughs> just sneaking through the palace. All right, so you roll a four. <laughs> so four. he sees you dive into the uh, into the bush. He's probably just thinking to himself, but peculiar. Fellas, he just hears me yell, "Ow!" <laughs> what an eccentric <laughs> being! <laughs> I like it. Uh, talking bush. <laughs> <laughs> talking bush. Okay. Let's we'll investigate that later. What do you guys think? I think they're. I, don't know. I, I think they're. Hear okay. anything? Okay, so here's what we found out: the land is evidently unowned. It's just public area. It's not anywhere near this lady's house. How could she have ownership of this land if it's not anywhere near her house? The people seem super friendly. Uh, and, you know, we I asked some pretty pointed questions that they like he was just able to snap answers off to like forever. Uh, I don't think anybody owns this land. I don't think this woman has any right to this land. I don't think she's got any claim. I say we go back and kill her and take the staff. I know that sounds extreme. I know it sounds extreme. However, uh, gut feeling says. I mean, she, she didn't have that one room we couldn't see. She did. She had a whole room we couldn't see. Plus, she had that weird lock. Yeah, a whole, a whole bedroom. Like, <laughs> Yeah, we don't know what's in there. That her, key, her smallest goddamn keyhole in the whole province. I'm just saying. <laughs> have you ever heard that your the biggest secrets are behind locked doors? Boom. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm talking about. I certainly, uh, certainly guess where there's no locked doors. I certainly agree. No instead of out here. Picking a fight with a bunch of people we don't know who seem to be very nice on unrestricted land. We need more details before we can enact. That's right. That's what I'm talking about. I mean, as long as long as I'm getting paid. Girl, I like the way you work. Um, okay. I no told diggity. them we were just gonna go get baskets to get some more fruit here. Um What do you think we should do? Should we hang around longer? Should we try and get more information? Should we go back to the old lady and find out what the deal is with this uh, owned land and owned trees? I mean, I say we go back. We might as well. Yeah. Should we go? And maybe talk to she her? has baskets. We maybe she has baskets. We can take them. Boom. That's right. Cars. I'm on board. You like it? Yep. All right. All right. I'm gonna jump back out of the bushes stealthily. 
<laughs> it's like you appeared from nowhere. <laughs> Dang, <he's cool. laughs> Thought nobody. Like everyone just looked over oh, at the buddy. rustling. All of them were just Good like Lord. he just likes. Bushes. I had to take an emergency dump. I'm so sorry about that. I'd like, but when you gotta go, sometimes you know you gotta find a bush. You know what I'm saying? Pooped all in there. Fruit. Uh, uh, sh- sure. <laughs> Listen, um, I just want to say thank you for your hospitality. Uh, we're gonna go grab some. Um, we're gonna grab some baskets. We'll be right back. Is that okay? Uh, uh yeah. I it was right, the fine last fine. time you asked as well. Bye. <laughs> all right, so you guys are all heading back to the uh, to the Mother, cottage. Come on! <laughs> <laughs> all right. Oh look, we made it. All right. Okay. Everybody, stealthily dive into the tree. Okay. Here's the plan. We're going to go talk to the old lady and totally not kill her. We're just going to talk to her. Got it? Got it. I'll try my oh, best. I'm, I would say I'm going to need confirmation from you. I know you're the wild card. So. <laughs> All right, let's go. Let's, let's go. Let's Wait, you're sneaking in? No, we're going to well, not, not. I'm just talking really softly. Oh, okay. I'm gonna also knock pretty softly. Rap a tap tap. So you knock, and uh, <laughs> she says, "Oh, back already? That was quick. Did they did they give you any trouble?" Darla, Darla, can you come outside, my sweet? Uh, I'd rather not. It's it's quite nippy in the morning here. I'll hold you close and keep you warm. Just <clears throat> come talk. To no, us. no touching, please. <laughs> What's with the no time? All right, now look, we're getting derailed. Darla, I don't want to. <laughs> um, we saw the people out there. They said that nobody owns the land. Well, I don't they're filthy liars. Do you have a deed you could show us? I don't want to go. I mean, there's no people. deed, but I've tended those farms since, or those those orchards since, oh, two decades. So then there's no ownership, is what you're saying. I mean, whoever tends the land reaps what is sown. So clearly, so I, I, listen, I don't having want to planted like those trees since they were a sapling. I don't want to sound like a sapling. Go ahead and give me an insight check. Oh, I need to give you an insight roll? Yeah. My wife, uh, that's I just think him or she's all curious where we were going. We're playing. Uh, just <laughs> him. <laughs> He's the one actively that conversing. Oh, the statement. Listen, so there's an order, right? And the orchard's full of what is it, kumquats? I don't even remember what's out there. <laughs> I can't fucking remember. There's some the fruit funniest there. fruit. Apricots. Kumquats is the funniest fruit name. Apricots. And uh, we're not sure who owns the land, so I'm just I'm under the assumption that this woman's a witch. I think I turned her on so much that I may have to go because you know so. ladies you love D and D. And I confused her at the same time, so <laughs> confused lady erection. All right, uh, where were we? Sorry, I got derailed. That was the uh, fourth wall breaking. Let's take it back in. Insight check. I asked for an insight check from you. Uh, you guys gave me an insight check too. That's fine. Everybody. Mm-hmm. Was that me? We all did pretty well. Uh, yeah, you did fine. But uh, it, from what you guys can tell, she's saying what she believes. She's telling the truth. I asked her for a deed. She's told you there is no deed. It's whoever tends the land is the one who has rightful ownership over the products of that land. Darla. Sweetheart. Is, is generally how it is here in the, uh, in the boonies. They've been tending the land for as long as you have. I, it's everybody's. It's communal. Give me a deception check. Because if you recall, he said he'd only been tending the land for seven years or so. Yeah, he's had like a decade. 
Yeah, but she's she's saying that she's been tending it for for multiple decades. So um, she's like, no, they've they they haven't been there for as long as I have. I clearly remember when they started encroaching on my my land here. It's not your land. Uh, are you sure it, that that's it, just not the first time you saw them? That's true. That's look, a good point as well. Look, if you're not going to help me, then just leave. All right, so here's the deal, what I think. Uh-oh. <laughs> she says it's Takara her land. speaks up. Everybody <laughs> listens. <laughs> <laughs> she says it's her land. He they really wants that stick. They say it's their land and that they're encroaching on it. So if she was here first, she should get it. However, we should strike a deal with both of them. They can go under her employ or they should move on. But she Boom. needs to give us something Well, they're more not than saying it's their stick. land. Yeah, but they're not saying like, that it's their land. It's everybody's, right? But that's true. Uh, but if they're the only other ones tending the land, he's got a good point there. If they, if they all, if we could get everybody together to come to some sort of agreement where we don't have to murder anybody, I would be okay with that too. And then and if I'm we good do, either way, we could. We, we do have to murder someone. We need more than just a freaking magic stick. Well, that says you all murder somebody for just a roll of toilet paper. I don't give a fuck. I'll murder just for fun. Maybe shit. My wolves are gone. I literally have nothing to live for. So I... <laughs> Your wolves are gone. <laughs> My babies! <laughs> How does one live after a loss so great? At some, some point, we need to go find some wolves and replace them. Kind of like, you know, having a daughter who loses, <laughs> who, who loses her bunny. You just, go to the, you just go to the pet store, find one that looks like her previous... Chapter 3. <laughs> her previous Chapter one. 3, buddy. We're getting there. <laughs> it's like, you um, use this dick to play, like, the ultimate game of fetch. <laughs> Dude, if you... Listen, I don't want to harp on this. I'm just saying, if you... Mona, I know you're new here. If you had seen these beautiful creatures, these beautiful wolves... <laughs> Decorous. They were be- they were gorgeous. I mean, oh, they were majestic. God. They were. I called one of them Flufferton. He was beautiful. He was my favorite. He, he, um, he was the favorite. Was that the one with the white uh, the white thing? Yeah, on the his, white tuft. Uh, it was it was white in the shape of like a triangle, just right under the neck. Oh, so it's like he had a little tie on. He's like a little butler. I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> Darla. Please. Yes. Would you be open to the idea of maybe having an open discussion with these these people? They seem really friendly, and I don't want to put you in an uncomfortable situation. I don't want to force anything uh, awkward on you, but they really they seem like genuinely decent people, and I bet you if you had a discussion with them, you guys could come to some sort of agreement that everybody would be happy with. I, I don't uh, I suppose. Yeah. Uh, I could give. I could give it a shot. That's that's swell. I think. I think everybody's gonna be happy when all is said and done. Um, we. Do you have any baskets? By chance. Um, I mean, I. I have one basket that I use to to pick the fruit, but you want it to took me a very. L- we don't need. Oh, to keep that would. That, that would be lovely. A gesture of good faith, right? Looks like a peace offering. There you go. We're she goes in. And... We're going to talk to these uh, these fine people, and we'll be right back. A couple hours. It'll take a couple hours. My chain mail, although it's quiet, it's kind of heavy. So, we'll <laughs> so right it's back. quiet. <laughs> <laughs> you want know those um, Fallen Four stealth perks on his chain mail? I mean, do we? We don't all need to go, right? I mean, I think mm. maybe if somebody wants to hang out, keep Darla company, tell her stories of our I'm, travels, keep an eye on her. I mean, the other guy did say that there was goblins in the area, so are there though? I don't know. I don't know. That's, that's true. It's, we don't. What we do don't know think? what's. We don't know what's going down when we go talk to these guys. Wait, there were goblins. Oh, that's a good point. There, he said that there there is goblins that are known to kind of travel the area. What do you guys think? Should we should we all travel as a group? I, I think so. 
Right. Well, I've already come this far. All right, let's do it. All right, All right Darla. Keep... See you soon, sweetie. Give me just a moment. Keep being beautiful. Mwah. No touches. <laughs> <laughs> no toques. No toques. All right. Uh, let me see here. One D one hundred. Yeah. Okay. That was a low roll. You're back over here. Mm, and these mm, guys mm, have mm, probably mm, 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 moved around la, a bit. La, 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 da, da, da. I'm skipping. Uh, Oh, Oh, Oric was. I, I was. I was still loading. Okay, I'm sorry. Yeah, these guys are fast. Oric, my man, fist bumps. Uh, uh, how's it going, Rock and Rolla? He gives you a, a fist bump. I'm gonna go ahead well, who's and your, get some fruit. Who is your lady friend? Oh, she's a butt. She is my. Uh, she's a butt. Uh, <laughs> Hi, she's she's my whore. Butt spots coming up in the freaking. Well, I mean, yeah. I'm only. I mean, I'm only your whore if you pay me. <laughs> she is my she is my whore intern. Uh, <laughs> I'm gonna pick some fruit while we're here because I gotta bring some back to. Do you guys know Darla? Uh, the name doesn't ring a bell. No, she's like an old lady who. Also comes out here and picks fruit. You ever, you ever met her? Mm, no, I've never seen anyone else but us here, other than the occasional traveler. She, uh, I guess she's been working this land as well. And I'm talking this whole time. I'm talking while we're all picking fruit. We're all picking fruit at the same time. It's very yeah, casual yeah. conversation. Yeah, uh, very casual. She evidently has been tending this land for decades, from what she tells us. She's just been hanging out here working. Uh, periodically pulling some fruit down, taking it back home. You know what I mean? Mm, I mean the only re the only regular we really had was old old Harold, but uh, he disappeared about a couple months ago. Harold is her husband. Harold is her husband. Evidently, he died. Was there he a died? Did That's he have so a pet sad. Tiger? How was he a nice guy? We, what? we never got. Why would he have a pet tiger? <laughs> Uh, yeah, Harold yeah. was, I mean, he was a bit curmudgeonly, but, uh, I mean, we would help him occasionally, because, I mean, he was the very old. The men are curmudgeonly, if you know what I'm saying. <laughs> We're all a little grumpy, you know what I mean? Yeah, we always told us of the times that he fought, uh, that, that he fought off two goblins all by himself. I believe it. I it believe it. We've met Darla, and she's, uh, she's a handful uh, I believe he. I, I believe she really knows how he to sounds, handle a stick. She, <laughs> uh, Mona, control yourself. Go pick some kumquats. He kind of perks up at that mention of a of a stick, and he's like, "What? What was that about a a, a stick?" Don't you worry about it. Hmm. You know her husband, Harold. Yeah, I remember Harold. He he had a a fancy stick when he was out here. Uh, he'd often use it to uh, to prop up his basket so he didn't have to hold them while just putting the fruit in. Uh, sounds like a pretty powerful stick, huh? I mean, it was pretty fancy. I never seen anything like it. We just just hold the the baskets, but it gets tiring after a while. Huh. It's pretty interesting. I mean, you could just set the baskets on the ground. We could, but. There's, this place is infested with ants, and I don't want to get ants all over it. <laughs> Have you seen the size of these fuckers? They're huge. <laughs> <laughs> um, Good thing this isn't really Fallout, or they'd be breathing fire, too. <laughs> that's really interesting. Um, can I... Can I... Uh, you mind if I consult with my uh, friends? momentarily because i want to talk to you about something that's kind of important um but i feel like i need to discuss something with my friends real quick is that okay 
Uh, sure. There's a bush right over there. I like last it. time, I, I guess. Don't worry. It's <laughs> nothing. It's nothing awkward. I just, you know, I have I have a really great idea, and I think you're gonna like it. And we just I need to discuss it with my pals. That includes. I dive universe. into the bush. <laughs> all, all right. <laughs> they all watch as you dive into the bush. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Guys. I hit a branch. I'm starting to... I had that suspicion right off the bat that something is really weird with this lady. And they're kind of confirming those feelings. I mean... Something's wrong here. There is something <laughs> very wrong here. And uh, listen, I know that this is the 12th century and all, but... The 12th century? <laughs> <laughs> we didn't discuss time frames. I know this is the 12th century of our Lord... Um, Gomer, but I have a really bad feeling about this old lady. These people seem great. Quite honestly, I want to invite them to come and uh, do adventures with us because they're they're fantastic. Um, Dakaris, and they only seem interested in picking kumquats. That's it. They just want to come and kumquats. You know what I'm saying? I mean, Dakaris, you remember Flynn? Do you remember Flynn from a couple days ago? I do. He's from a, a couple of days ago. Piece of shit, bitch. <laughs> Fuck that piece of shit. These people, Ulrich and the gang. I'm just saying. Uh, listen, in the 21st century, there is going to be a gentleman named M. Night Shyamalan, and he is going to be the king of the flip. So you'll think you know what's going on, and then boom, things are going to flip. I think you know I the grass the is trying flip. To you mean you. Lord and Savior? <laughs> I can tell the future. Is all I'm saying. I, th uh, I thought Flip was the name of the god of this world. That's his <laughs> god, M. Night Shyamalan. M. Night Shadoops. Our Lord and Savior. Confirmed. Uh, I'm just saying. Flip is M. Night Shyamalan. <laughs> <laughs> what a twist! What a twist! Uh, I'm just saying. Something's wrong with this woman, and I'm thinking. Instead of maybe getting this group together to sit down and powwow and make things right, uh, this bitch killed Harold and fed him to a lion, and I think we should get these people together to go back and kill her with us. Make a nice, easy fight. I do find it Seven odd on that one. They, were, they were interested in the stick. I mean, I think we need to check out that shed she has first. See, there's a lot of variables here. I say we just kill okay, her. So I say uh, we go back. You two can distract her, or you and I. Someone, two of us can distract her, and one of us can break into that shed. Cryptic Wolf, what's up, buddy? This is my second run on a D and D game, and I ruined our first run. And I am trying not to do it this time, but I am. This is this is the run. same run. Like this is not a different one. Oh, never mind. This is chapter two of our campaign. <laughs> Day two. Yep. Day two. We'll go it was like it. episode two, chapter one. There you go. <laughs> so, now she is a witch. We could drown her. And if she floats... I mean, does anybody have a duck? Oh, you were here 20 minutes ago? So you've been around. You've been around for the brilliance of everything that's happened. Yes, yeah, so we need a duck. We need a piece of wood. And that is the extent of the Monty Python references that we will be doing tonight. You all have been cut off. Um, all right, so what do you think we should do then? Because Alcadius, I am on board with this whole let's find out what's in the shed thing. Dakaris, I am also uh, agreeing that they were very interested in the stick. I don't know how to bring it back up, though, without it sounding weird. I concur. So I am open to suggestions. We've already come back now, like, for a second time. I don't want it to look weird. I mean, they're here. It's been hours. And it took us, what, two hours to walk back? And then two hours to come back again? Mm -hmm. So it's been like... And then we talked to her, that woman for like 30 minutes. And they're still out here picking fruit. I mean, and they're not... I mean, they don't even seem to, to have a care in the world. But the girl's fanning herself with some palm fronds. Terminator, Where did she even get he's, those? He's, <laughs> He's drinking kumquat juice. I mean, stabber. See, I like that idea too. See, Cryptic Wolf is in the same page that I am. This old lady is no good, and we stab her. I can't stab um, her. I only have a mace. 
Okay, so we stab with Mace the usually mace. has pointy bits. <laughs> um, all right. I'm making too many decisions. Well, if this we do kill guys. her and take her stick, we need to make sure it comes with an instruction manual first. How can we guarantee that? We should also check her. So you do know that. Pretty simple. In yeah, as as uh, just out of out of character here. If you have a magic item and you don't know what it does, you can spend an hour trying to attune to it, and it'll pretty much give you what it is, unless it's some sort of like really crazy magic item. Gotcha. Hey, flip. What's up? I can hella attune. Are there? What's that? How many walls are there? Is there a fourth wall? You want to break it down? You won't break that fourth wall, flip. <laughs> <You're welcome. laughs> Burr at the stake. Uh, Jesus, Grim, did Wolf, you come in burn her and blazing. Her. <laughs> I mean, if she Look is that a witch, bitch killer. I do have sac- the spell Sacred Flame. What's that do? Oh, the flame. So. It ignores cover. <laughs> <laughs> is what it does. Ironically, ironically, it doesn't actually do fire, it's radiant damage. <laughs> Yeah, Radiant. that's even better. It's the it's the you know godly <laughs> energy or something, light energy. Right. God will tell us if she's a witch or not. Yeah, she's. I mean, you can witch. try and. <laughs> yeah, she's the witcher. The she's like, witch. hmm, fuck. <laughs> 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 throw some coins at her. All right, so all right, we've come like so. All right, so here's what I was getting at. It's been like five hours. We've already harassed these people like twice. What should we do? Do we do we take them back to the house, go with our initial plan of trying to organize some sort of powwow? Do we go back to the old lady? I mean, what do we do? What do we do? So they can't give us much details. She won't give us much details. So I would say she's wasted our time more than they have. They've never seen her here. They've seen her husband. So she's trying to strike, strike claim to something that she can't prove. I say we go back, get more details. She can't give us more. We take what we want. Woo! Oh, Katie's. Fuck yeah, let's do this. <laughs> okay, I want to expand on this slightly. I'm going to break into the shed. Break into the shed first. That's what I was going to say. All right. So here's what we're So are you guys waiting to dark or... Um, to break into the shed, or are you just going to break into the shed broad daylight? You know she's home. I already went back once. A lot of, Dakaris and I have a lot of charisma. Okay? Between the two of us, we can probably uh, distract her. We'll say, listen, we're going to meet halfway. Um, just come with us, and we're going we're gonna to meet you part of the... They're going to meet part of the way so that we're on kind of an even playing field here. And while we're doing that, we just draw her out of the house a little bit. Uh, Katie's break, I mean, Mona breaks into the shed, figures out what the fuck's in that shed. Then we reconvene and. Uh, I don't know what's in that if room. We don't too. like what we hear. Yeah. Oh, yeah. If you keep her out long enough, you could definitely get into that room. If we don't like what we hear. Also, this, what I just did, that was the international sign for we kill her dog. <laughs> We kill her dog. <laughs> <laughs> it's been 30 years. Oh. She won't give us the stick. Listen, we're not even trying to take the stick. We're not even negotiating for the stick. We're going to kill that bitch for the stick. Oh, that's why she has the stick. It's for her dog. It makes sense now. Yeah, you go. <laughs> Ulrich uh, yells at you guys. He's Choo-choo. like, okay, we're heading. We're heading out back to our camp. See you, see you later, bush people. <laughs> All right, I dive amazingly out of the bush, doing a double flip. Well, Rick, my man, I'll see you later. Mwah. Bye. Right, let's go. Let's Please don't go. touch me. <laughs> That's where we're going. We're going to find the info about that bitch's her shed. All right. Okay. Go. So it's still daylight out. Unless you guys are camp camping out until dark. I didn't know if if that was part of the plan or not. Dakaris. Yo. I suspect she's in her room on her bed. 
Shit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, he died you, 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 yeah. you don't know where she is right now. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to just quietly walk up to the front door. Mona, go to the shed. Prepare to break into it. Takaris and I are going to talk to her. Burner shed. Cryptic Wolf, you're a maniac. You just want to come in just fucking guns and torches ablazing, trying to kill Frankenstein. All right, we're going to do this stealthily. As stealthily as a six foot eight, 299 pound man and a wizard that looks like the devil can possibly do. <laughs> Mona, get ready to break into that shed. We're going to distract her. All right, so here's what's going to happen. We're going to try and draw her out of the house, okay? If this does not work, when we draw her out of the house, I'm going to cough really loudly. And at the same time, <laughs> really, I cough loud. really loudly. Okay, so Mona, you have to try and break if the you lock have, out. Does anyone have lock picks? Uh, let's see. No, you guys do not have lock picks. You know what I got. I know what you have. <laughs> I have a Tinder box, but I don't think that'll help. No, got... I mean, wait, hold on. You're not going to be able to pick the lock. You're, you're none I've of you are rogues. Broken blade. That is not a lock pick. You don't know that. What if it is? I do know that. What if, <laughs> if it's pointy? What if it's pointy on one end? On a and on a account know. that it's not spelled lock pick. It's spelled broken blade. <laughs> you don't know everything. <laughs> Shit. But but maybe right. you can jam the broken blade into the keyhole. I mean, you I could jam a lot of stuff into that keyhole. You could jam jam into that keyhole. It's still not going to help you pick the lock. Like, <laughs> but then it would just jam. be jammed. Would it be kumquat jam? Great. Now the I lock mean, is jammed. How did you not, jam the lock? You guys haven't done anything yet. Not, you guys are just you're not loitering outside this old door. lady's house. You're jamming the wrong lock, Mona. All right. You're going to find out shit. All right, Just call so me Bob Marley. I'm always jamming. Oh my God, you're grounded. You've been grounded. You hear that? Go in the corner. Get in the corner. All right. Here's what we're going to do. We're all in position. Everybody's in position. You ready? Ready. I have to pee. I'll be right back. I'm going to get some water in that case. I'll be right back too. All right. I'll be right back as well then. I'm Might as well. right here. Takaris, entertain them all. Oh, look, we got music going on now. That's fancy. I'd say this is going really well so far. Swimmingly. <laughs> How'd you like that song, Dakaris? I made was, it myself. That was great. <laughs> I started learning music like two days ago, and I nice. was like, I'm going to try Everybody something. Wolf. Thank you for the follow. I was taking a pee-pee. We've been doing, uh, for now, two weeks in a row. Um, we've been doing uh, D and D. We did it last Saturday. We're gonna start making it a Sunday thing because uh, I've been wanting to play D and D for like decades now, and uh, we decided we we're gonna go ahead and start doing it on stream. And it has been now two weeks in a row the most fun that we have all week. I have a fucking blast with this. Flip is like the best DM ever. He 
placates my retardation. It's it's a blast, man. <clears throat> it's a blast. Yeah, fuck Mondays. Fuck it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm back. Right, Welcome back. It. Okay, so we're all in position here, right? Takaris, we gotta play this cool. Hey. We're gonna try and convince her just to get far enough away to where she won't hear the noise while Mona is trying to bash the lock or possibly break the door if need be to get into the shed. Just because grab her and she's, she's, she'll be so distracted. She doesn't want to be touched. She gets away from me too quickly. <laughs> Listen, my retardation knows no bounds. I'm just saying. <clears throat> um, all right, so anyway, yeah. Here's what I'm thinking. We're going to try and just coax her far enough away to where she can't hear the sound if you have to break the door down. Are All you right. guys ready? What are you guys doing? We're knocking. Knock, knock, knock. Okay. Yes, who is it? It's me. Uh, Cody oh, God. Roller. <laughs> Lady, just happened to your face. <laughs> I, I clicked on the wrong thing. <laughs> Why the long face? <laughs> <laughs> wow. Who dares? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, Dakaris, are you okay? I thought she just uh, ate you. <laughs> <laughs> yes, who... <laughs> Oh, have you have you come back? What did what did the the young lad say? Uh oh, Dakaris turned into no source selected. I'm working on something. Oh. You're fine. You okay, let's continue. Oh wait, he's back. Oh, he's tiny. So worried. <laughs> so worried. Yeah, it's like yeah, three regular sized heads and one really tiny Dakaris. <laughs> oh, he's back in the he's quarantine. In, he's he's quarantined. Whoa, he's he just slid over really fast. Oh wait, oh he's. He's getting bigger. He's getting Are bigger. you in your TIE fighter? Stay on target. Stay on target. <laughs> Porkins. No. <laughs> oh, my God. Darla, uh, it's me, Mort, a.k.a. Rock and Roller. I, yes, I, I can see that from your enormous stature and my basket full of fruits you're holding in your hands. I am so sorry. I didn't realize you had a people on the door. I just thought that was decoration. How are you? You want to well, the, come get the your doors, fruits, please? Yes, hand me the fruits, please. <sighs> Listen, Darla. How did it go? Everybody is down to have a conversation. We kind of want to do it on mutual grounds. Um, we're only going just a little ways out, um, just so that we can all talk. It's perfectly safe. We've got you totally protected if you're concerned. They're super nice people. Everybody just kind of wants to sit down and chat and figure out what we're doing here. Oh, okay. If have have them come over here. That'd be... Well, they are. They're just going to be right on the other side of where it says Patreon.com. <laughs> oh, you've seen that, have you? <laughs> <laughs> I just had it installed a few weeks ago. <laughs> Yeah. It's beautiful. Helps, it's helps keep the helps keep the crows away. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's just they're right over there. Let's just let's just take a quick stroll. We can chat about what we're doing. They're right over there, um, and we're just gonna figure out. You know, well, let's come to a common ground. Sure everybody's happy. make a deception check for me. Keeps the crows away. Oh, yep. <laughs> Perfect. He's like, very well. Let's I'd go. Say, I'd say that works pretty damn well. Yeah, I'm pretty sure she's going, Mona, get it. Wait, do we need to throw a code out? Caw -caw! All right. Mona, break into that shit. All right, I guess Jacar's I'll try to. We gotta sell this. Oh, wait. I guess I'll try to break into the shed. <laughs> All righty. Um, so you guys are chatting with uh, with Darla there. Uh, how are you going to try and break into it? You're going to try to bust the lock at least first. 
Okay. Uh, go ahead. Wait, and, what like, are you using? Is your it mace? Like an external lock. Yeah, I'm gonna use it mace. Like... Yeah, it's it's like a it's like a big old timey padlock. It looks pretty big beefy. Padlock. If you're gonna use your your mace, you can just make a regular mace attack. I'm gonna say it's a DC 15 to break this lock. Okay. <laughs> and then uh, let's see here. I'm gonna. That's that's why I coughed, Wolf. Okay, so I'm gonna roll a 1d100, and if it is a uh, 80 or below, then she doesn't hear that. So she didn't manage not to hear that. So you have another chance. She, she doesn't know anything's up. Wait, he didn't break the lock yet? No, he he didn't put enough oomph into it. Okay, Whoa. we're gonna... We're, wait, we're gonna cut back to... Uh, we're gonna cut <laughs> back to, to you guys. She's like, oh, well, where, where are they? Yeah, uh, Mr... Mr. Rock and Roller? Really, really loud. I, I had a really, really loud coughing attack that just happened. Yeah, no, she she didn't she didn't <sighs> hear you. <sighs> <sighs> I know, but it's a new coughing attack. <sighs> <laughs> I've got sinus issues. <sighs> I swallowed wrong. <sighs> what did you roll? A twenty? <sighs> okay, so you, you made another while well, that's going on, you made another roll, but didn't quite get there. You need to roll a fifteen or above. We're going to roll another 1d100. Again, if it's 80 or below, then she doesn't hear you. That is... <gasps> Fuck. <n> <laughs> Fuck. What, what was that noise? Bird. Where's your, where's your lady friend? That was Bird. She's dead. I don't see... She I'm died. leaving. Loud as shit. <laughs> And the time it takes for her to get back, you can make one more roll to try and break the lock if you're going to try. Mort hasn't said anything really loud or nothing, so you are not you don't know she's heading back. I'm going to grab a kisser. Where's my kiss check? <laughs> Persuasion. So, uh, Alcadius, go ahead and make another roll. Deception. Animal handling. Nice. Hey, okay. That work. Uh, yeah, we're going to pause. That that did break the lock, but we're going to pause for a second. Mort, you said you were going to run up and kiss her? I mean, I have to Are you actually doing her. that? <laughs> Birds. Um, Are you actually doing anything that? To distract. Yeah, anything to distract her. He's going to throw her off. Okay, well, run, run up to her then. She, she's made it to about here before you've... Angel. Darling. Wait, I don't need to play music for this. Hold on. I know. Oh, I've got some appropriate music for this. Go ahead, cue it. It's going like that. All right. Uh, anyways, Darla. wait, hold on, Darla. Ever since the moment I saw you, I knew that you were important. That you were she, she's special. like, she's like trying to. To get past you here. <laughs> like, I, I don't have time for this. Girl. Girl. And then I grab her. I grab her by the hand. And I swing right. her around. And I say, baby girl. And then I smooch. I smooch her so hard. Just. Uh. All right. And then she's. You... I'm glad I'm over by the shed. <laughs> roll for that. What do I roll for that? For, for your smooching abilities? Oh, yeah. Uh, nothing, but you, you come back, and, uh... <laughs> Is she dead? <laughs> no, she's not dead. Is she uh, cloned? Her, her appearance has changed. Uh, when oh, you, what? when you grabbed her, you, you felt something was, was wrong, but you were too far into the moment to, uh, to, uh, have any sense to stop. Uh, her skin felt, like, way more wrong like the only word you can use to describe it it's it's like leathery and not I fucking skin told you at something all was wrong with this bitch. <laughs> i told you something was wrong with her look at her she's looking like goddamn exorcist uh so she says i said no touching and then she shoves you uh let me make a strength check here go ahead and uh, give me an athletics check 
channel all your bush diving abilities. 17. Okay, so she shoves you. You manage to withstand most of the shove, but you do get pushed back like five feet. I mean, he rolled athletics. What's that? I'm big. I'm athletic. Yeah. Uh, at the same time, this is happening uh, over here at Alcadius's or at Mona's position. Mona. Mona's broken we get, into this shit. Uh, Mona opens up the door. <gasps> I fucking <laughs> knew it. I fucking knew it. These are kumquats at all. These no, aren't there's... kumquats at all. <laughs> <laughs> all right, that sounds like exclamation ad quote to me. <laughs> <laughs> can I roll inside to see if these are kumquats? Uh, no, but you can all go ahead and roll me initiative. Oh, man. Oops. It'd be helpful if I clicked on my character before doing that. Ooh. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Why are we all so low? Should have snapped your neck. <laughs> God damn. She's fucking... She got them big What the rolls. shit? 18? All right. What was that? That was more at four. <laughs> Listen, Darla. Is this because uh, I kissed you? Mona at nine. Dakaris at... You guys see your guys... Uh, thing in the turn order, right? Sometimes it huh? can be a little weird. Yeah, I said, you guys see your... I'm getting a thing where it says you wanted to send the result of this roll to the turn tracker, but no valid... That's because, yeah, that's because you didn't that's because you didn't uh, click on your character before you rolled initiative. It's fine. Uh, I've already added you. I just oh, want to make sure that you that. see yourself in the turn order. I do. Yeah, I forgot about doing that. Sorry. Okay. I do. Good. Oop. Okay, so I'm last... Oops, and I'm the closest. Mean... Close that. <clears throat> Not so good for you. Yeah, this this doesn't bode well for, for Mort, for rock and roller. All right, so she screams at you and just says, you imbecile, can't do one simple task. And then she uh, She's runs busy. here. Let's see here. All right, I punch her in the throat. So she moves here and she's going to attack you with her ridiculously long claws that she now has. She's, she sounds she like hag. her wife. Holy shit. She, uh, she definitely hits you. <laughs> oh my god, are you guys watching the chat? Oh my What's god. that? Are you guys watching the chat too? Uh, no. <laughs> what they is... Are. How does that does not equal that? What is mathing not working? Yeah, well, I'm rolling the the die, but it's like not doing it right. Okay, fine. Dun, 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 dun. Don't yeah. just some, you want me to pretend to be a die and just throw some numbers up for you? I can do. No, that. no, I got them. Uh, take eleven Six. damage. You you rolled a six. I mean, if right. you want me That's to roll a six, damage. I'll roll a six. Yeah. God. Why'd it have to be so okay. much? Mona, it's your turn. You hear a commotion over here. You heard somebody yelling, You imbecile! Do I hear Rock and Roll a scream as he gets it with 11 damage? <laughs> Ah, that's that felt like eleven damage. Ah. <laughs> that's exactly what Could've you hear. <laughs> Famous last words. Damage. <laughs> that's almost that's, twelve damage. That's at least two ribs, possibly a jaw. Is each square yeah, five feet? Pass. Five feet, yeah. Okay, so I, can, I guess I'll do a double move. All right. Actually, wait. <laughs> go lay in her bed. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> I guess that's all I can do for now. To recover okay. or just to hang out her bed? So, Dakaris, it's your go. I'm rolling. 
car save me. What are you doing? Oh. Uh Oh yeah, you can do like distance spells, right? Yeah. So I'm going oh, yeah. to uh cast Oh yeah, why didn't I do that? <clears throat> what was I main? don't know. Firebolt, I yeah, think. Fi yeah, Firebolt. I guess Firebolt. Uh, I'm not sure. What's their range on Firebolt? Uh, range is 120 feet. Oh, wow. Oh, that's he's, really yeah, he's far. Got this. Splatty, what's up, buddy? Uh, yeah, go ahead and okay. roll the hit. Okay. You want, to, you want me to wipe my ass on her pillow? I like it. I do that to my wife already. 17 is a hit for 8 damage. Nice. Uh, da, 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 da. Where is she at? No, I want this one. So how's your evening going, Dr. Splat? Uh, no, not this one. This one. So you guys should be able to see that damage bar? That she's got okay, that's just uh, that's a tracker of how much damage you've done to her to make it um, easy for you to remember. Okay. All right, rock and roll. Uh, well, are you going to move at all, Dakaris? Get closer or? Uh, no, I'm. Uh, you're you're cool yeah, out there. I'm good out here. I would say you're close enough. I'm going to try and keep it right there anyway. All right, <clears throat> I got short sword. Okay. Short sword. Way you hit with a short sword for another Way 8 hard. damage. Uh, she, she looks pretty upset that she's now on fire and have kind of put a dent in, uh, in the side of one of her arms, but she, she doesn't seem all that phased. Are you moving? Or are you going to stay there? I'm very concerned at this point. Um... Can I talk to her, or is it too late for that? Um, I mean, she's pretty upset. <laughs> and, yeah, uh, yeah I don't think it's... I don't think talking is going to help. All right, how many spaces is going to move? I can't remember. Up to six. But remember, if you leave her range, then she will get an attack of opportunity on you. Oh, yeah, fuck, I forgot about that. I mean, I want to just keep her from getting back into the house. Oh, hold on. <clears throat> I'm not I mean, moving. as long as you're next to... You're not moving? Okay. I'm not moving. All right. Somebody else start. All right. Well, it's her turn. <laughs> <laughs> All I, he's just thinking, come, quads. Come, quads. <laughs> Smear him on my face. <laughs> Kumquats. <laughs> kumquats. Those weren't kumquats at all. All right, Mort. So uh, she yells at you, just like a high pitched ah, and then turns invisible. I think somebody redeemed something. Ah, oh, bitch. There's your thirty seconds of the blank stare splitting. Sorry. Splitty had a blank stare of redemption. Yeah, I saw. We honor our redemptions. All right. So. All right. Where the fuck did she go? Uh, she Mona, it's bed. your turn. Wait, where did she go? She disappeared. She yelled at you she and she turned invisible. invisible. Oh, damn. Fucking hag. How do, how do we deal with invisibility? Uh, by looking harder. Oh. <laughs> Why didn't I think of that? I that mean, was... it worked for that guy uh... in the Predator. <laughs> Rolla and... Uh, I guess touch him and make him feel better. I'll cast Cure Wounds. Ooh. All right, heal four hit points. What a shitty roll. <laughs> you, 
Yeah, that's Literally the worst the roll. Literally the lowest possible. <laughs> yeah, it could have healed up to 11 hit points. I got a Band-Aid brand Band-Aid with Spongebob on it. It did all right. I'm wearing a Disney Princess Band-Aid right now. No, I can tell. <laughs> all right. Dakaris, it's your turn. Okay. Uh... Well, dang. We don't know where she is, so I'm kind of trying to figure out what I should do. By the way, I am keeping actual track of her movement. It's not like she's just gone. Yeah. So. <laughs> Sell her rug. <laughs> Sell her rug. <laughs> Which one? That sweet snake rug or the moon rug? <laughs> oh, the ugly ass definitely moon rug, the... evidently. No, we're definitely keeping the moon rug. Yeah, we gotta keep the moon rug when we take this out. We need it. I need to decorate my tent with something. You gotta have a moon room. Everybody needs a moon room. I'm trying All to see right. if I should move closer and try. Would press prestidation do anything? Prestidigitation, whatever. I was no, prestidigitation is not going to help see invisible stuff. You'd really need something like uh, fairy fire. Would be a good spell to reveal invisible enemies, but you don't have that. Yeah. Well, I'm kind of useless right now, so I guess I'm just going to stay here. Just going to stay right. there. Okay. Hold on. Am I close enough to be able Actually, to you know talk what? to him? Maybe I should come up with you guys. Am I close enough to be able to shout to him from here? Yeah. Yeah. Hey, buddy. I'm going to be going into her house next round. I mean, as soon as I get an opportunity to do so. Um, let's try and get closer to the house. Gotcha. Let's go for the stick. Uh, going wait. for the stick. <laughs> I move closer. So, Dakaris, as you're moving closer... Do, do, do. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Uh, where, where were you at? You were here? Yeah, I was there. So you went, what, one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six. Was that your path? There's a, there's like a fence here. Sure. Unless you're going to jump the fence. That's fine. <clears throat> okay. So when you get to, to here and you try to move out of this square here, she takes an attack of opportunity. Oh, boy. Damn, this bitch. Uh, do, do, do. And she was invisible, which means that she actually gets advantage coming out of that. So she rolls twice. And what's your armor class? Is 10? You are yep. so, so weak. <laughs> oh, no. Uh, so she does hit you. And I think I have to actually do this manually again. Nope. There we go. Cha! Nine damage. Ow. You're still standing, buddy. Yeah. Okay. Uh, you you do get to get all the way over there, though. Okay. All right. So I was thinking about making a break for the house to see if there's anything in there that we can find to use against her, like the stick. Uh. But I could try and hold her off if somebody else wants to try to run into the house. I've got the most health. I think at this point, I have the most health. Do you? Oh, yeah, you're right. Um, <clears throat> okay. All right, I'll make a run for it then. One, two, three, four, five, six. I, I can move six, right? Yeah. All right. I'm in the room. I'm going to try and find the stick. Okay, so you're using your action to use investigate, so go ahead and give me an investigation roll. It's a good roll. It's pretty good. You see a locked trunk, which you surmise is the only other place that stick could be, um, but it is locked. So I'm going to break that shit open. Yep, on your next turn, though. That was your turn, is trying to locate it. 
each round is six seconds. So you ran into there and you looked around really quick and you're like, it's probably in there. Gotcha. So that's that's what you did on your, your turn there. I could have just walked in like this with my sword out and then busted. And hit the, the door, first thing you, you saw, but smash you, down. I mean it's right on the you, other side of the door. But you didn't do that. I clumsily so. dropped my sword. <laughs> which is super heavy. All right. Uh, uh, Dakaris, did you take your damage? I just did. I just, I, I just okay. took it off. And then I'm t- take a shit on her bed. So she's going to move up to Dakaris. She's going to roll to hit Dakaris. Don't let her kill and you. And she hits. Hiya. For 11 damage. Oh, fuck. oh no. So you're down to zero. Don't worry, Mona's got healing spells, hopefully. Maybe. Possibly. I do have some. You've used one so far. I think you have, what, two slots? I have, yeah, two more. Don't be gross. Okay. Oh, Mart, you should have uh, you should have healed, I think, an additional two. Let me just check. Where is that heal? Yeah, you should have healed an additional two because of Alcadius's um, life divinity spec thing, right, Alcadius? Yeah, we should have healed four. It was uh, it's one d eight plus three. Well, no, no. There's an addition, or is that is the plus? I thought the plus three is just your your modifier, your wisdom modifier. There, you have a feat that, or an ability that gives you an extra plus two whenever you use a spell that heals stuff. From what I remember, I might be wrong. Uh oh, yeah, I do. Yeah, so you, you should be at two plus, plus two to whatever you were. Uh, e- HP two plus the spell's level. I guess that would yeah, actually be which is. Feet. Oh, that'd be three then. Yeah, that'd be three. Yeah. Okay. Anyways, continue. Sorry. Is it my turn? Uh, it's your, yeah, it is your turn. Oh, okay. Uh, I guess I will try to hit her with my mace. Okay, so you got to move adjacent to her. So wait, Dakar's only option at this point is saving rules. Unless he gets some healing. Okay. But Mona's going to hit him, or hit uh, this old green lady with a mace. So go ahead and roll to hit. Come on, mace, don't fail me this time. Fuck! (laughs) Uh, That is a miss. That is totally a miss. Okay, then I guess I'll use a... This action to cast healing word on Dakaris. Yeah, so go ahead and uh, roll your healing word. Swoon her. <laughs> there you go. There's that disciple of life. What the so that's fuck? Four... Why do I keep rolling ones? <laughs> So you do heal seven, Dakaris. You get back up to uh, to half health. Which half is health. good. Cool. Now does he get okay. to move still on his turn since he was rose? Yeah, he's he's alive. He's okay. he is prone, so he'd have to waste half his movement standing up. But other than that, he's he can do whatever he wants. So where should I move to? You think? Um. Or should I cast first? I mean, you probably... I don't know. I don't know if you're supposed to cast first and then move, or move and then cast. I don't know how that works. It's up to him. He can move a little bit and then cast, or he can yeah. just move, cast and move, or move and cast. You have your whole movement uh, amount to go through during your entire turn, and then you have one action, one bonus action, one item interaction, etc. So, if, so if we start backing out of this, which direction are we going? Towards the house or away from the house? 
Well, you Once saw Mort I run into this... the house before everything yeah. went dark. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna move here. Once <laughs> I get the stick, I'm gonna come back okay. out and I'm gonna beat her in the face with it. All right. So I just again, Dakaris, remember that she has a reaction she can use in order to do a ar- attack of opportunity. So if you leave her threatened square, she's gonna get a free attack on you. Oh. Unless you're taking the disengage action, which will prevent that, but then you don't get to, you know, fire a. Uh, a spell or anything like that. Right, so I'm a fire spell first. Okay. Which spell do you want to use? Uh, I'm gonna use uh, same one again. Uh, where's it at? Firebolt. Just your cantrip. You don't want to use one of your three level one spells. Uh. Oh. Sorry. I'm gonna use magic missile. Uh. Okay, so go ahead and click on... Actually, no, better yet. Uh, ooh, sh- maybe I should do False Life. Or Mage Armor to prevent your oh, retardedly yeah. low armor class. Yeah, yeah, but do Mage Armor. Either <laughs> one. <laughs> yeah. I'll do Mage Armor. Alright, so you cast Mage Armor, so your AC is now 13... Plus your dexterity modifier, which is zero, so it's just thirteen. But that's a lot better than ten. Yeah. Okay. And then you you are moving or you're not moving. Uh. I'm probably safer. I Again, if I you stay here. Yeah, she she won't get a free attack on you. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna stay here. Okay. Kill that bitch. All right. Mr. Rock and Rolla, what you doing? I am breaking. Okay, I don't want to just break the lock. I want to smash the whole dresser open because I don't want a chance that I miss the lock. I want okay, to that will be more the... difficult than smashing the lock. Fuck. All right, so we're going to smash the lock. Okay. Go ahead and give me a weapon roll or whatever you're trying to smash the lock with going to be a dc 10 it's a much smaller lock than the one that was on the shed so that means you have to roll 10 or better bam you smash open the lock what's that to it's a sweet oh okay they said wheat oh no <laughs> wheat there's wheat inside this chest <laughs> wheat <laughs> it's just full of kumquats <laughs> <laughs> Back to the broom. You find another dead body in the chest. No, you you find uh you find the stick along with some uh some vials in there. Um, vials. Yep. It looks like there's three of them. What color are they? Uh, they are green. So the with the vials are green, or the stuff inside them is green. The stuff inside them is green. It's clear glass vials, but the stuff inside them is is green. Guys. I don't want to be that guy, but I'm thinking about drinking one of them. Well, they can't hear you. They're busy fighting some cackling Lies. mad thing. They still I'm can't hear you. Dr- <laughs> <laughs> what kind of walls does she have? Good ones. Anyways, you're going to pick fighting. that stuff up? or I pocket, I pocket everything. I grab everything. I pocket the vials. I'm holding the stick. I'm holding the stick. Okay. In addition to my short sword. So I got a short sword in the right hand, stick in the other. Okay, so I'm gonna say if you're if you're gonna grab everything, that's gonna take up the rest of your turn to do so. So you wouldn't be able to move if you do that. Okay. I believe that. Alright. It's uh crazy hag lady's turn. Darla. She's gonna attack Dakaris. Oh boy. Oh, she managed to miss. Sweet. <laughs> Uh, let's see, are any of these bonus actions? You want me to fire off a spell in her ass? I like it. No. Um, you do hear, uh, voices coming out from over here. Like, from the, uh, uh, from way back here. Uh, it sounds like those people you met at the, the, um, orchard. They're saying, help, help, we're under attack, goblins! All right. Uh, Mona, it's your turn. 
All right, I'm going to run back. Two, three, four. I think it's in, I think it's in range. So she's going to get a free attack of opportunity on you? When you leave ah, her fuck. threatened range? You okay with that? Is it, you still want to move there? Uh, ah, probably safer nope. here. Okay. Uh, I guess I'll cast... Oh, fuck it, what's it called? Uh, Sacred Flame. Okay. So she has Fucking to make hell. At least it wasn't a one. A deck save. Oh, she fails the deck save. So you see a uh, a beam of light just come down and uh, hits her on her head. Some some of her hair on the top of her head starts flaming. She's like, ah! ah! She takes two, uh, probably self-esteem damage from that. <laughs> <laughs> How do we know what her health is? You don't. I'll t tell you when she's bloodied. Bloodied is like half health. So she's not even there yet. No. All right, Takaris. <clears throat> yeah. All right. She is. Depending on if I should go straight to like magic missile, or if I should cast false life. You would have like stun her or anything. I can put her to sleep. Put her to sleep. It's only one minute though. That's fine. I mean, in that minute, I can. That's get out plenty. Of the stick. All right. Uh, just. Oh yeah, yeah. You you should be able to. Okay. Well, I, I'm not saying you should be able to put her to sleep, but you should be able to cast the spell without hitting your party members. All right. The hell is that? Okay, so go ahead and click on that. That's the the spell okay. itself, because it's not a damage spell. You can just click on that 5d8 that's pink in the chat, and that'll roll the dice. 16. Okay. Uh, that... Let me get your calculator out real quick here. That's a good roll. That does not put her to sleep, I don't think. No. She she remains awake. Dang. What? Is she groggy? <laughs> uh, a little bit, but that has no mechanical significance. <laughs> I'm just saying, I have some pills on me that could get her the rest of the way. All right, Mr. Tank. It is uh, your go. Well, I, I assume Dakaris is just going to stand there too, but. Five, six. Oh. All right. Wait, one, two, three, four, five. How did you get there? Oh, I, I went, I went crooked, and I, I kind of. So, the so there's a, there's kind of a door here and a wall. You'd have to go th oh. straight out. Uh, I jump on Dakaris's shoulders. That is not allowed. But we'll say Dakaris moved slightly <laughs> last turn. Ha ha! All right, I got the stick to help you guys out here. Okay, you got the stick. Um. Okay, guys. Congratulations on getting the stick. Uh, I'm sure it will stick. be very helpful as she claws you to death. <laughs> <laughs> I got the stick, and I got three <laughs> vials of slime. What are we doing? I don't know. It's your turn. Mm. I, I know. Do you guys think I should drink one of those vials of slime? Not if we don't. Uh, you don't really have time to talk about that sort of stuff in battle. Oh, you don't? You, you, you basically can walk up and go, I've got the stick and these things, but Shit. there's still a crazy lady here trying to attack. Yeah, I think we need to get her down. <laughs> What if one of those makes me more powerful? All right, we can't talk about it though. Um, yep. Just what? What? What are you doing in the the heat of the moment? It just seems like that stick is probably. How do I swing the stick at her? I don't even have that as a, a weapon. Yeah, but you don't know anything about it yet. Uh, the stick is not really a weapon, so it's not going to do much damage. It would be the same as punching her. Oh. Well, shit. So unless you're a monk, it's pointless. Yeah. All right. So you do hit her for that much, and I need my calculator again because I'm very, very bad at math. 
Okay, she is now bloodied. So. Oh, thank God. We got her halfway. All right, guys. We're all right here. We can do this. Okay. <laughs> Seeing the big, strong man come and attack, she's going to be like, I took you down once. Even though she didn't. She hits you. Even with your intense 19 armor class, she rolled a 20. Oh, uh, Jesus. Not, not a crit, not a crit. She rolled an, a, a, just a, a 20 with her b modifiers. Ha. Dang it. I thought that was it. What, what happened? She rolled a 2. Oh, duh. Boom. Take nine damage. Nine damage again? Yep. This is an hour. She's right. rolling pretty she's rolling pretty good. Yeah, she's gonna be rolling right out of the ground when I beat her ass. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, Mona, your turn. I guess. Let's go. Fire attack again. All right. I think your mace might do more damage if you're able to hit her. Uh, you get your strength. You get your strength bonus on top of it. I think they're actually about the same. All right. All right, let's go. I'll go mace. I, I'm just letting you know. Ooh. I finally hit. Now That's a good one. You hit with the beam earlier, just it was crap roll. Uh, plus six. Yeah, she's not looking so hot now. Dakaris? I'm going to say firebolt. Alrighty. Uh, go ahead and firebolt. Okay. I'm trying to select myself here. There we go. Ooh, it whizzes right by and hits this tree, which is now on fire. Oh no, the kumquats. <laughs> Don't worry, those aren't real kumquats in that tree. Those are just baby bird eggs. Oh no, more <laughs> skeletons. Sweet, sweet, angelic little baby birds. And you just hear, ur, ur, as, a, as a wolf crawls out on fire. I thought you would. <gasps> no. <laughs> <laughs> that was wrong. <laughs> Nothing will ever be okay again. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right. Uh, I need to cure wounds. Rock and Rolla? Yeah, I need to cure some wounds. It'd be a lot easier if I could be a Forge Cleric. All right, you heal nine. So what, I healed for how much? Nine? For nine. I like how you healed... More than like both the times I healed. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, even with your weakest one, healing seven is not bad for a bonus action. That was Mort's whole action, so. He touched himself and made himself feel better. Yeah. He's like, ooh. Yeah. Jack, that's, wait, that's... <laughs> I need to jack myself off real quick, Wade. All right. Uh, she's gonna sense that Dakaris is a bit low, so she's gonna swing at him. Great. Oh, so Ooh, she's a swinger. She's a swinger, yep. And hits him for six. Which was, like, her second lowest option. Oops. But you're not down, Dakaris, so that's that's good. Yep. It's only that last hit point that's actually important. <laughs> that's that is yeah, yeah, that's true. Mona, your turn. Uh fucking Sacred Flame again. Let's do this. Oh, I didn't mean to roll that, oh well. All right, DC 13. Was that Dex? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Nope, she fails that. Takes three more damage. Now looks like I am better and, off with the mace. Yeah, like I said, the mace you get your, your strength bonus too, so... 
Uh, looks like that's a plus two, whereas your Sacred Flame is just a straight D8. Alright. Dakaris? Uh, I'm going to try uh, Firebolt again. Alright. What the fuck? Ooh. What is going that's on? That's another miss. The, worst the, uh, the flame over... The flame over here intensifies. Well, that's what you have magic missile for if you want to hit. Like, but aren't we all too you close? You just instant. No, magic missile is like three little pew pew pew. Okay. Little blasts. It's not like a a wide range. It's not an actual missile that's going to explode. Right. It means missile as I in know. like an arrow or a ranged weapon. I dare you. My mother was a tree. <laughs> all right, she was a good woman. Okay. Let's go ahead and Your mother was a tree. My mother was a dryad. How dare and your fa and your father fucked a tree. <laughs> Alright. Six more damage. She's looking really weak now. Your mother was a tree and your father smelled of kumquats. <laughs> <laughs> She's like, curse you mortal fools. And then turns invisible. Ah, not again. Swing wildly. <laughs> All right. And Mona, your turn. Uh, I guess I'm going to run back a bit. Run back a bit. All right. Anyone able to heal me? <laughs> nah, you're fine. <laughs> you're fine. Yeah. Stop being such a baby. That okay. one HP Sorry. is almost as good as full HP. <laughs> Suck it up. Besides as long as the healer goes... You off and make you feel good too. That is true. He's got lay on hands. What? What? He's going to lay you. You're going to get laid uh. by a big... Tall Terry Crews. <laughs> I was just like, I didn't know this is. I didn't know this is what was gonna happen when you signed me up. <laughs> or is lay on hands only yourself? I forget. Yes, you did. No, it should be others as well. Yeah. All right. So you're just moving back. Uh, that's it. Can you fire blindly? Uh. You know what? Let's fire blindly. Oh, okay. that's an option? What? That's something you can actually do? Yeah, you're not... You're not probably not going to hit. Not. Where Where are you trying to, to hit? If you click and hold, it'll put like a little... Like, this thing. It's like... Battle you're trying to hit, hit, hit right there. Okay, uh, go ahead and make your attack roll at disadvantage. If you hold control and click on the... Uh, the button to attack, it'll do disadvantage automatically. Alcadius? Sorry, I accidentally enlarged my screen. <laughs> One sec. <laughs> <laughs> Control zero we'll will set you back that. to normal. Hey, a big roll. Oh, sac you can't do Sacred Flame because you can't see them. Sacred Flame, you have to, I think, at least see them. I can't hear you, Arcadius. You're talking, but I can't hear you. I keep forgetting I'm pushed to talk. I guess I'll just swing randomly then. Okay, so just kind of close to you. That's fine. Uh, you don't hit anything. There's nothing there. All right. Uh, Dakaris, your go. Thinking about casting False Life. Uh, That's your last spell slot? Or so if I do that, you cast Mage Armor? Okay, so I can't do Magic Missile later if I do that? Uh, I don't know how many things you've cast. I know you cast Mage Armor. You didn't... No, you didn't... Oh, you cast Sleep. Yeah, so that's, that's your last spell slot if you use uh, False Life. All right. 
Until Which means you can still do firebolts and stuff all day, because you can do firebolts all the time, but you yeah. wouldn't be able to do magic missile. Gee, uh, actually, what are you planning to do next round? Or Me? I was just going to run and scream <laughs> and hope that I run into her. All right, so false life it is. <laughs> okay. All right, so you have eight temporary hit points, which is kind of like fake hit points. Should I just leave my thing at one or just... Uh, oh, there you go. Gotcha. I'm going to put it in your red box okay. to show that you have that. Okay. Uh, what do you... Red box. That, like this. There you go. Okay. Are you going to move at all? No. All right. Mort, you go. All right. One. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. Three, uh huh. Four, five. Uh, sh wait, go back. All right, there. <clears throat> Nah, bitch, I knew you were right here. Nice. Uh, yes. But she only revealed herself. Like, if you would have ran into her, I would have shown you where she was. But you actually went here in her range and then moved out of her range. So she's getting a attack of opportunity. Damn it. Which she misses. Good. So now you are there. All right. Five. Mm-hmm. Fifteen is a hit. Oh, she's so low. It's as if she only has one hit point left. The <laughs> most important hit point. All right, so I'm going to double strike, which is a move that I invented for myself. That's uh, never been seen before. Nope. <laughs> only monks can do that. <laughs> double strike. At, th at, this, at this level, yeah. Swing it once and then swing it around again. All right, she's gonna take a swipe at you. Oh my god, she's rolling so good. Uh, for eight damage. Well, yeah, bad for you guys. Jesus. That's her turn. Me. Mona, go ahead. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. What'd you do? I guess I moved. You were here? Are you hopping the fence? I can't hear you talking, Arcadius. Oh, sorry, I was just counting myself. Like, One, oh, two, three, four, five. One, oh, yeah, 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 you're three, good, you're good. Four, five, six. Okay. Oh, you're good. And then I will cast, uh,. You know what? It, it hasn't failed me so far. Let's do it. Set this bitch on radiant fire again. All right. It's up against her deck save. Ooh, that's a good roll. So I'll actually roll her decks here so you guys can see. So her, her deck's my fire is only a plus one. So if this is below 13, then... Uh, she dies. Yeah. Twelve. Thank you for the follow. I appreciate the love. Um, she she bursts into flames. One session. I'm already better than Flynn. <laughs> That's right. Flynn. Ugh. I didn't want to All hear right. that name. Okay. Uh, so she's dead. Um, you did hear that uh, that those people screaming for help for goblins, or at least uh, Mona and Dakaris did. Uh, Mort didn't. You were in the house, I think. Wait, how close were they? Because wasn't it like two hours away from the, or the orchard? Yeah, it sounded pretty close. You think it might have been just a trick that she was trying to pull? Maybe she has some sort of spell. 
or something that does that couldn't couldn't be <laughs> all right so she's dead she's dead i'm gonna check her body all right Try loot the bitch uh it's pretty gross um she was a a hag she is not uh it's it now now that her magic is passed like the body smells absolutely terrible like it's been rotting away for for probably months and uh she doesn't really have anything on her she never really needed anything other than her wicked claws and uh I'm her, her hand spell casting to keep as a weapon <laughs> all right you you have fun with that would that be an unarmed attack? No, that would be an improvised attack at disadvantage. Wah, wah, wah. But that is a good pun. Mona! <laughs> yeah. gonna, like fade out, and, like the circle fade out, and I just shrug like... <laughs> 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 All right. We still haven't checked to see what else might be in her little slavery cage thing up here. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> A little late. I don't think we've also searched the shed yet either, have we? <sighs> yeah, that's what I'm saying. Oh, yeah, well, I, check. I mean, I looked Wait, inside and there's just some. Dead bodies. Uh, yeah, it's some there's some some dead bodies. Boxes there. That's all that's there is dead bodies. There's that second room in there too. Probably. I know it's been in yet. I mean, you, you guys can search everything. You find mostly that uh, there's not a whole lot here that you wouldn't expect to find. Um, there's a bunch of jam and like preserves and stuff. Um, it looks like most likely what happened is like pretty much everything. You didn't really notice it when you first. Uh, like walked in, but there's a like a pretty big layer of dust all over the kitchen. There's dust pretty much everywhere. Mona might have noticed it when she was sleeping, but she was so tired after walking from Oblivion to in front of this cottage where she met you guys <laughs> that uh, <laughs> yeah she Tamriel didn't pay really too much attention. attention. There's still a room here though that we haven't checked. You guys would not believe how close Elder Scrolls Oblivion is. Oh, I believe. There you it. go. Oh, it, it's just jam. like a it's like a pantry, yeah. That's for her jams. Okay. That's for her jams. Can I steal some can I take some of the jams? Yeah, you can take some jams. Will it give you There's way more than you can probably carry. They're not I her mean, jams. I'm not take all of it. Yeah. Okay. You guys think what probably happened is she wa like wandered by and murdered poor Harold and uh and his wife. And then kind of took up her disguise uh, based on the wife. Do we want to go and show the stick to these other people? Try and help I them? I don't know. Or do we want to go and try and pawn the stick? Or you can keep the stick. I was By the way, the I'm, gonna gi I'm going to give you the stat blocks for that stick. Uh -huh -huh. Dun, 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 dun. Can I send this in? Hey, I can. Boom, there you go. Let's see. This flat iron rod has a button on one end. You can use an action to press the button, which causes the rod to become magically fixed in place until you or another creature uses an action to push the button again. The rod does not move, even if it is defying gravity. The rod can hold up to 8,000 pounds of weight. Okay. More weight causes the rod to deactivate fall. The creature can use an action to make a DC 30 strength check. Moving the fixed rod up to 10 feet on a success. Interesting. All right. Um, yeah. I, I mean, I said we keep the rod. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. We should hang on to this. That sounds pretty neat. I could see a lot of situations that might make that uh, valuable. Um, now, what do we do about the other the other fruit pickers? What about those three vials? Oh, yeah. Flip your mute. That is a good question. 
For next time, probably. Oh. I think it's a good stopping point here. You guys, you know, killed something you good. pretty strong. Um, that good. Oh, the vials. If you uh, take a sniff of the vials, uh, they smell really sweet. And if you uh, like taste it a little bit, you feel a little bit refreshed. You think it's probably a potion of healing. I knew it. Should have drank that shit. All right. Yeah, I mean, it's all. So then we're all gonna we're gonna go back into our our new house, which we now own. <laughs> this is our house now. I am going. I, get, to... I call the big bed. Fair enough. That's fine. I will be sleeping in one of these chairs, so that's fine. Or actually, I'm gonna sleep on the dining table, so we're good. <laughs> on the um, dining table. I'm a big guy. I need a dining table. I don't. I, I like the stiffness on my back. I actually and can't I would, lie in bed. I would like. Uh, if you hold Alt, you can. Make more fine adjustments to your position. Can and I would like yes. to get her off of the path here. Can we go ahead and bury her in the flower bed? In the flower bed? Yeah, there you go. Very good. What are, are you going to do anything with these guys? Or are you just going to keep them there as trophies? No, no, leave them there. Leave them there. I want to be able to enjoy okay. them. We we don't want to ruin the decorum. Yeah, no, <laughs> she obviously put a lot of effort into that. Uh, when she put it, maybe maybe, maybe, comments, maybe put it put, put a new lock on it so, he... <laughs> <laughs> so they can enjoy it privately. Yeah. So then, yeah, we're all gonna take a long nap. We're gonna take a long sleep and call it a long nap. one week nap till <laughs> next Sunday. <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna take our one week sleepy time. All right. All right Good job, time. everybody. We and look, we did it without ruining anything tonight. I would call that a win. Trees are still on fire. <laughs> I mean, so far. It, it'll it'll go out. <laughs> Always burning stuff. That was just that was just for <laughs> flavor. Good fun, boys. The flames of justice uh, will never burn out. Never seen. Dakaris and Mort, you guys both get a level up. Uh, oh. Alcadius, you weren't here for the first session, so we'll say you will probably level up next session, most likely. So, Dakaris and Mort, you're level three now. Uh, I, want a, in, I want an extra arm. I would like to. No, that's. You don't get a arm. perk at level three. It's yeah, not Fallout. <laughs> you do get a whole bunch <laughs> of cool stuff. <laughs> oh, damn. I just realized I'm still carrying around that owl with the, uh, with the eyes. I don't think we pawned that yet. No. Nope. Because you, you guys walking. got lost, right? Yeah. Yeah, we got just found this the house. Storm. There was a thunderstorm. Yeah, we're still carrying that bird from last week. Mona slept in the house of these dead people. <laughs> no, that's gotta yeah, feel. The house, they're dead in the shed. She's yeah, no but it was their house. <laughs> like, it's, they were well, probably allegedly. killed in the house. Alleged. What are you, cop? Alleged. I mean, I'm sure she's. Allegedly. I'm sure she slept in tons <laughs> of other people's beds. <laughs> <laughs> also a good point all good points all right uh, I tend Martin... to forget that uh, that was her backstory was that she was a prostitute then became a nun damn she's got a hell of a backstory we're gonna really have to dive into this next week I gotta know more <laughs> power. we're gonna be in this we're gonna be in this house together for like seven days I gotta know more Mona maybe eight more, Oh, no, no. It was just eight last week because we started on Saturday. It's going to be seven this time. All right. Uh, for uh, for Morton DeCaris to level up in D&D Beyond, if you go to your character and you go to... Let me look at Flynn's character sheet here so I can point you in the right place. On the top right above your HP, there's like a little hammer and anvil. If you click on that, you'll go back to the character builder. It's called a handle. And then, yeah, it should take you to the class section when you do that, and you can change your level from 2 to level 3. Um, and then there might be some things you have to pick. Uh, like, Dakaris, I know you'll get more spells. Uh, I think two new spells you learn. Um, and then there might be some other options. Ooh, Sacred Oath. It's broke mine. 
I only have one option. There we go. Uh, do I have to sign in first? Uh, I don't know how you're looking at your character if you're not signed in. Yeah, yeah you're already in there. Yeah, okay. Um, I'm looking for the hammer and anvil. Should be top right. Anvil. Do not see it. Uh, let me send you a screenshot then. Okay. It. It's a white hammer and anvil right above your HP. Right about here. I do not have that. Mine's next. Oh, mine. Really? Mine's next to where it says campaign. Nope. Not. Are you signed in? I have a sign in option. Uh, let me see. I, I would sign in then. Maybe it's because yeah. you're not signed in. Let's see. Um, I gotta find which. Oh, I need. Ah. So now I get back over here. <clears throat> Oh my! Now I have it. <laughs> so let's change it to level All right. three. So yes, yeah, yeah, you change it to level three, and you'll probably get some more stuff. If it's in blue, then that means you have some choices you will probably make. And to care specifically, uh, you have some spells you have to pick. Okay. So you'll click on spells, and you get two new spells. So you can pick any two spells you want um, from the listing that you have available and learn them. And then you can also change your prepared spells if you'd like, because you're having a rest. So you can always change your prepared spells. Okay. Now, and now, Alcadius, if you're saying anything, you're still muted. I'm not. Okay. I'll, I'll figure this out later. All right. You better... It shouldn't be too much stuff, It's, but it'll be useful. Cool. Anything you guys have complaints or criticisms from me? Or no anything I can do better? It's great. I love it. Yeah. Alcadius, anything? No, I'm good. Tell okay, me cool. sucks. <laughs> <laughs> I, I like to get feedback in case if there's anything you guys would want from the next session, like anything in particular that would be helpful for me to make happen or something like that. Like, did you guys like the combat or did you guys like the the talking to people more? More Dude, combat, all, less combat? I am all about the role-playing side of things. That's what I'm enjoying so much about it. But it's a, I think it's a good mix, in my opinion. I think it's a solid mix between the two. Yeah. All right. Yeah, I mean. Cool. Well, good. All right. Good. Good. Fan good. Fantastic. Good things are good. <laughs> good day, sir. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, I don't know what the hell I did. I got a new mole. I don't even know how that happens. I'm getting old. Oh, man. Old. Where'd you pick that up from? Was it expensive? <sighs> I don't believe I even paid for it. It might be more expensive later. <laughs> yeah, well, I was gonna say, we're in Florida. Everything's cancerous. So. That's California. Well, California has a uh, has a law that anything that that says it like contains cancerous chemicals has to be like on the product or like put somewhere. And because I when on the sun, <laughs> they they found a way. There's just a big transparency. <laughs> No, but like you go to any fast food place that serves French fries because like when you cook potatoes, they have that acrylamide or whatever that supposedly causes some cancer. Like every McDonald's says things in here might cause cancer. <laughs> oh, wow. That's horrifying. So, yeah. I think my favorite thing that had that warning on it was um, was a pair of headphones I bought from like the dollar store. And it had like, <laughs> please do not eat these. Like... <laughs> For these headphones, I'm like, okay. Nice. These headphones have not... stomach cancer. Yeah, I'll try not to. Uh, I know they're so tasty. They're just full of lead. 
They <laughs> look delicious. Mmm, <laughs> <laughs> mercury. <laughs> or as I like to call it, salty liquid. Mm. Fighting salty. cancer by moonlight. <laughs> salty, gray, yummy. All right. <clears throat> I am jumping right. off of roll Me as here. well. I got work tomorrow. Oh, that sounds terrible. I don't. So I will see you guys later. <laughs> All right, buddy. It was fun. Thanks for uh, thanks for uh, running that. Yeah, thanks. It was, it was fun. It was a hoot. All righty. All right. Out. We are going to raid Zach Faction today, who is one of Zeb's mods. Which I just found out about. Um, that shit was a blast. I uh, I appreciate uh, everybody hanging out. I appreciate us getting into it. Uh, <clears throat> All right. Still kind of early, late too. But I may stream earlier tomorrow. Like really early. I may do it in the afternoon, like or morning. I don't know yet. We'll see. Um, so yeah, thanks for joining me again. Uh, I will see you tomorrow. Boom. Maybe. Boom. Come on. There it goes. This one else. All right. Have a good night, laters. Heaven knows where this went wrong. Telling me to just move on. Holding on to regrets we made. Now it's time to walk away. No.